And just like that, we're live. <laughs> All right, now we wait for the uh, nodi. There we go. Let me pull up chat. Pull up my uh, soundboard. Voidex with the E! Hey, what's up, man? Hail King Revelant with a close second and Evil Crash for third. Perfect. Okay, now who's fourth? 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 Oh my god, hold on. Okay, sorry about that. Alright, so... Like I was saying, I didn't get to see who was fourth because I was rudely interrupted. Crossy's fourth. Good that job. Good good job, Crossy. Good job. <laughs> Alright, so we got Voidex in first place, Revelant for second, Crash for third, and Crossy for fourth, and Michael Wilson with that close fifth. Alright. So, welcome guys to the live stream. Uh, last stream, we got a whole bunch of information off of the Young Master, or that's how we called him. The Young Master's is lackey. We got a whole bunch of information squeezed out of him, and Lord have mercy. It's way deeper than we thought, but hey, that's all mm -hmm. we're done and with. We're gonna try to get to the bottom of this. We went to get uh, some pecky duck with our new acquaintance, or well, you know, one of the Eugene three, not the lady and not Zhao, but you know, the one that's still in the Yakuza. The and the wow, cool. Mr. Sensei Wu, but he's missing the beard. All right, so uh, Zhao joined the crew, and right now we're gonna go and just brace ourselves for the Omi Alliance and Yokohama Liumang impact. We were warned that there was going to be some powerful enemies, so we gotta keep eye. Alright, mm -hmm. but I am not alone. I have a whole bunch of people with me. Uh, let's got... We got Crossy, the uh, wild card here. And also the leader. Hello. I will Bullshit. whoop your shin. Alright. <laughs> keep, keep talking like that and I will demote you to a trash can person. To the garbage taker. All right. So then we got uh, the brains of the group. Also, we're trying to find that secret lab of his, but we haven't yet. Hazard. Sup. And we got the leader in love of my life, Justin. Hi. Beautiful. All right. And together we are the Retro Warriors. All what right. Hell? So we got a keep eye of those very strong people out right now. And we gotta prepare ourselves for the Omi Alliance and Yokohama Liumang Bond, sorry. I was looking for the word. Alright, but for now, let's see what we gotta go do. Uh, well, for one, I would recommend eating because Adachi's health is shit. Oh, what? Never mind. I, thought it was I thought it was low. My mistake. Continue. Oh, and look at that. The game did us a favor and switched out Namba for our new recruit, Zhao. All right, we also got Blue Blade Striker in chat with Brandlin Jones. We got Ben in chat, Connor, Lisi, hello. Hopefully I pronounced that right this time. All right, so let's see what we can do. Oh, oh, hello, plants. Are you done yet? No, okay. All right, so, uh, oh, okay. What's this? Hey, Ichiban. How you doing? Hey. I'm fine, thanks. How about you? Oh, good, good. Can I ask you a favor, though? Sure. I think you could take out the trash for me. Hmm? The trash? I don't mind, but why? Oh, I'm just cleaning house in my place, and there's some stuff I don't need anymore. No rush. Just stop by when you have time. I can't lift it all. I'll wait for you in my place. Well, I think we got something to do now, don't we, Ichi? 
Some heavy lifting, huh? Guess I'll lead guess I'll head to Mako's place after I wrap things up. Or we can go right now. <laughs> I was about to say you could either A do some sub stories, B gotta increase your bond again, or just do some main story progression. You know what? Sure, let's go ahead and do some sub stories. Let's see what's Oh, sorry about that. So sorry sorry, Junhi. You hurt your Junhi, how dare you? Wow, not even a second in and he's already abused by his team. What will they say next? Find out next time on Yakuza 7 Like a Dragon. Alright. Let's go ahead and do this one then. We'll meet Hamako later. Oh, and we also have sit and chat. Hello! What's up, so guys, I hope you enjoyed that uh, Virgil cosplay uh, thing last night because I will be coming back next week with a different one. I will have my turn to stream someday. Because I want to get back to Yakuza 4 with y'all. Let the wife stream. Yeah, so Zami can draw over Taiga all over again. Mm -hmm. Lady Z, did you hear that uh, Among Us is getting out on Switch? Yes, indeed I did. Indeed I did. And I'm happy. Alright, so let's check on uh, this guy that was trying to hit on that beautiful lady over here giving away that soup. Okay, so we need a kudoi and I'll do the rest. Uh, all right. Rack, paper, scissors, shoot. My guess is Dante oh. cosplay. Uh, no, this is actually completely different. You guys are actually in for a kick-ass surprise. Anyway, Kasuka-san, you came. Hey. Yeah. Where's your boy Terracado? Apparently, he's learned his lesson. He's been laying low as of late. Oh, hi, Black Moon. Uh, we just started, so you didn't miss much. That's yeah, good to hear. Well, we just started. Mm-hmm. Hello, Natalia. How you doing? Hmm? Hey, looks like they're running the soup kitchen today. Now's your chance to talk to her. Uh, uh sure, but... This whole time I've been thinking about what I should say, but I can't think of anything. I think it'd be easier to talk to her if I knew what she liked. Kasuga. Uh, why not go up and ask her? Sorry, both of their names start with K. <laughs> uh, but what, what if she thinks I have an interior motive and never speaks to me again? Dude, don't overthink it. Do, uh, do you think you could ask Shirakawa son what she likes from me? I haven't been able to touch my soup. I'm so stressed out about it. Man, you, you serious right now? Fine. But just to get this thing started, all right? Thank you. My favorite food would have to be, uh, okay, for those that don't know, there is this thing called pozole. It's a Mex Mexican dish. You can look it up because it's difficult to explain. So it's going to P, it's P-O-Z-O-L-E if you want to look up what it is. That's one of my favorite foods. But other than that, it would have to be Chinese pizza and, uh, Oh, what's the other one called? Seafood. There we go. Okay, be right back. I'm fine. I'm actually happy. That's good. How's everyone today? So far, so good. So far, so good. How are you guys? I'm alright. Hey. I'm good. Okay. I'm just looking at the of the, the comic that we did. Oh, and there we go. Natalia uh, spelt it out in chat. So if you guys want to know what uh, Pozole is, there it is. All right, let's see if I can find something these two can talk about. Uh, yeah, if I can talk to her. Go! There we go. All right, Kudoi asked me to find out what Shirakawa likes. Guess I'll act like I'm getting some food and see what I can learn. Hey. Yo, mind if I get some food? Huh? Oh, you're the guy from last time. Did you like the onigiri? Oh yeah, it was great. Thanks. Really? I'm glad. I love cooking, but I'm pretty clumsy, so <laughs> I'm never too sure about the taste. It's a relief to know you like that. Okay, so she likes cooking. Maybe I should ask what else she likes. Uh, do you like anything other than cooking? Uh, you wanna know what I like? Yeah. 
Tell you the truth, I was thinking about getting a gift for a girl your age. <coughs> Guy, sorry. And I wasn't too sure what to get him. I thought maybe you'd have some kind of idea. Oh, I see. A gift. Well, I'm not sure if it'll help, but I love flowers. Flowers, huh? Hi. Yes. I'm even attending a gardening program at my college because of that. That's cool. I guess a lot of a lot of girls love flowers. Thanks for the hint. Or well, I'm looking for guys, but hey. <laughs> and then she just tried to get Jungi some flowers. Oh, uh, no problem. I hope she likes. Uh, he likes the gift. Mm -hmm. uh, wait! Don't you want any food? Uh, yeah, I'm good. Okay, bye. All right. Uh, likes flowers. I'm gonna tell that to Kuroi. Kuroi fish. Yo, found out what she likes. Thank you. So what did she say? Yeah. She likes flowers. Oh, well, loves them like it. Loves them so much she's actually going to college for gardening. Wait, really? Yeah. Wait, what's the big surprise? Well, actually, at one point in time, I worked at a flower shop. No way! That's perfect, then! Shouldn't be hard to talk to her if you let in with that. <laughs> right. I must say, I'm starting to feel pretty confident. As you should be. I think I'll go over and say hello. Good luck, man! If Among Us is coming to Switch, does that mean we're going to get more Among Us live streams? Sure, if you guys want it. Yeah. I know I'm missing a lot, but how can I catch up about this game? Like, what part of the story is this? Can someone tell me, please? Um, we are in Chapter 11 right now. Mm -hmm. Out of 15 or 16? How much is it? 15. All right, so we need four more chapters to finish the game. But... If you want, yeah. If you want, you can go to my to the homepage of my channel, and there is a Let's Play uh, Yakuza Seven um, playlist that you can, you know, immediately find under my uploads. Okay. Like, go ahead. Okay. Okay. Looks like he's in business. All right. You may now go. Doing doing live stream versions of Let's Plays are easier than doing recorded Let's Plays. That is actually true. Mm hmm Looks like I made a pretty good Cupid. Anyway, uh, Ju Oh, sorry, Zhao. Jungi, do you like flowers? I don't mind bonsai. Okay! And she just runs off. <laughs> What's up, Sammy? How you oh, doing? So far, so good. So far, so good. Hopefully you are too, Cooper. Flowers can bloom in some pretty unexpected places. Back when I was working, I didn't pay much attention to the city. But you'd be surprised what you see if you look. <laughs> really? I'll have to keep an eye out. Oh, nice. Looks like Kuro is doing just fine. Oh boy, I'm gonna hate this next part. Hey! Look at that! What is it? Talk about Beauty and the Beast! Those two don't match up at all! Hey! Yeah, guy's like a wild dog, am I right? <laughs> yeah, oh, a real man. might! <laughs> Rude ass bitches. Uh huh. Fucking rude. Man, Beauty and the Beast, huh? Whoa! Don't stick up on me like that! Oh, I'm sorry. Apparently, Shirakawa and I aren't a good fit. Mm. That thought hadn't even crossed my mind. Well, I can't keep looking like some raggedy old hound. I don't want to embarrass Shirakawa's sound. What should I change first? Uh, what should you change? Hmm. Sup? Why not your clothes? I'm sure she'll notice that. Do you have anything else you can wear? I'm sorry to say, but this is all I have. All right, well, we'll just have to go buy some. How much do you got on you? 
I've got nothing. Oh. I'll try and do something about that for Chirikara and my new friend who's been cheering me up. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I'm really rooting for you, buddy. Thank you. Hopefully you can help me without my outfit once I get the money. Hi, little Wolfie. Oh, and little Wolfie says hi to you, Justin. I also got the other mm. retro warriors in here with me, so... <laughs> Hello. Mm -hmm. This guy sounds a yeah. lot more confident now. At this rate, he's got it in the bag. All right, and we're going to have to come back later. So what's next? Good question. Uh, well, you could go to Hello Work and see what costume Zhao could wear. Oh, right. Let's see. Where is Hello Work? Uh, right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There you go. We can take a taxi there. If I'm correct, I think you might like the outfit he has, but I could be wrong. Depending if he's got something good. Go, go, Retro Warriors. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm still waking up from a nap. That's okay, bro. Uh, good morning, by chance, if that's the case. Although it's ten twenty, still good morning. This ain't Uncle Grandpa, but good morning. Ooh, five hundred yen. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad if I say so myself. Can I help you? Let's see. You said, uh, z -z 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 there we go. Let's see. Oh, fuck yeah. We're, we're changing to that. Fuck yeah okay. yeah. okay, let's go to Psycho real quick. Oh my god. Oh, well, she's then. inexperienced. Fuck. No, that means. No, see. Oh, that means, means I can. Accepted... Yeah, you can select it if you wanted to. Funeral suit? Oh, Lord. Yeah, this game did update it when it comes out with new outfits. There we go. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather be a dealer? No, I'm just. I got nothing to say. A. I mean, we're not even having her on the team, so it's not gonna affect her so much. If anything, it'll have her gain experience while she's not, you know. I'm sure you'll be yeah. great. Hmm. Hold on. Can I help you? Sup? Vivika chan, can I talk to you for a sec? Yes. I have a minute or two. <laughs> so, you like pansies, huh? That's right. I do. I think they're beautiful. But she'd be happy if I gave her a bouquet of pansies. I don't have a bouquet of pansies on hand. Either I get the barkeep to make it, or I look for a shop that sells it. Well, I better get back to work. I... You know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm gonna go out and get that bitch some pansies. Bitches love pansies. Bitches love smiling. <laughs> Han, did you seriously just quote Ed from the Boondocks? Yes. I'm back. I'm gonna go eat something. Haven't eaten all day. Whoopi, go eat! What are you doing here? <laughs> hun, hun, at least I'm dropping hints. Fair enough. It's night. I got out of uh, school and took a nap. Yeah, bro, go ahead. You can rest up. I'm also watching Angel of Death. I don't know what that is, but it sounds appealing, bro. Oh, uh, the entrance is over here. Excuse me. Connor asks, does that mean you don't want to go oh. to the Bulls to end up with Ichiban? Hold on, hold on. Someone's handing out flyers. Does someone want to be the, the man handing out flyers person? Oh, I got Fuck it. Why not? Oh, oh yeah. Crossy, Crossy screwed it up for. <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's a man know. or a woman. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> see Brad Urban, see if we're gonna see you. Oh no, this quest. Huh? 
Come on in, sir. Hello. Grand Animal Circus. Didn't know the circus was in town. Wow. Looks like it's right here in Hamakita Park. I should check it out when I have time. Cool! That wasn't even a full on side quest. Thank you for nothing, Today's Yakuza action. 7. Well, I just came for Pansy, so. So basically, you go to this ringmaster here. Just stopping by to say hi. Hello, Sage. And bye, Sage. You gonna buy other I, flowers? I think I know where Heavy Blab is. Hmm. Yeah, ever know noticed? Wonder, the, like, ever noticed flick. the secret door in the HQ, guys? Flick, flick, flick. Ow, ow, ow. Uh, F school, bro, Black Moon. I'm gonna go ahead and say this. I'm 22 years old, and I'm regretting that I not do. I did not do more at school. Cause fuck, man. When when you're a kid, you can do whatever the hell you want. Like you can join clubs. You have more free time of anything. When you're a, when you're a, an adult, it's not as cool as it seems. Cause you gotta work, you gotta pay taxes, and then you gotta die shortly. So, yeah, it's not mm -hmm. it's not very you know full on living as you think it is. I mean, there is some times where you can like hang out, do whatever. But hey. Other than that, you gotta go to a job. I mean, take it from me. I worked 12 hours for four days straight to be able to, you know, pull myself together. So, enjoy your time at school, for, for what I can say. Because I wish I could have done more at school. Like, I would have hanged out with uh, more people. I would have been more talkative, you know, make some more friends, but... I was that one awkward kid that did not want to talk to anyone, so I kind of regret being that. Imagine sitting in a chair for hours at school. I don't care. I'm doing something. <laughs> uh, it's probably because my teachers were likable as well. They were really nice to me. And whenever I didn't, you know, understand anything, they'd immediately pause and tell me what I was, you know, getting wrong and whatnot. I'm sorry to lecture you. I know I'm an adult, but I, it's only been four years since I've gotten out of school, but... I kind of wish I could go back. Here, why don't you take these? Thank you very much. Oh, for me? Th that's very thoughtful of you. Just wanted to thank you for everything you've done for me. Hope you don't mind me coming around. I feel a little closer to Rubika chan I'm glad she liked it. Hey, there we go. I got her flowers. <gasps> oh, sorry, Adachi. Not sorry. <laughs> I was always in fights in school, bro. But yeah, I know I'm an adult and I'm probably sounding like I'm lecturing you, but for real, I wish I could have done more shit at school. I wish I could, like, hop into a damn time machine and go to art club more or, you know, listen to the teacher a little more and learn something else. I know it's time patroller. You can prevent history from being changed. Yeah, I wasn't really the fighting type at school. I'd try to get along with everyone. Move, Adachi. I don't want to trip over Junji. I was antisocial as fuck back in high school. Ah! No, I'd rather get over my own. Okay, well, my wish came true. Ah! Are you it... okay there, Kafka Sam? No. Come here, let me help you out. Imagine, imagine getting a game so. over just by hitting, oh, just by hitting, right like now. getting hit by I a car. Enjoy potato chips it's so possible. Often. Yeah, I love the seaweed and salt flavor. Nah, a refined so mango is just like salt. Nothing more. Let that happen. You do yourself a disservice. Okay. Sammy? The best flavor is constantly. Hold on. Looks Are you like calling Sammy an idiot? What's your favorite flavor, no. Dachi san Actually, my uh, stomach can't really handle chips these days, so as long as it's not too many, I'll take pretty much anything. I mean, I used to be able to down a whole bag like it was nothing. Sucks. Why don't we each just get our favorite? Indeed. We should enjoy them while we still can. Hey, 
Don't get all mopey on me. I can still eat them. <laughs> yes, don't overdo it. I'll make you some steamed potatoes sometime. <laughs> <laughs> that was beautiful. School for you was sort of meh. Ah. Uh. Nothing. How lame. Mm -hmm. Half empty drink. Okay, well that serves for good MP. Mm -hmm. Bronze plate. Mm -hmm. Ten yen. Mm -hmm. And nothing. I got a haircut yesterday. Cool. I'm gonna get run over. Uh, is what the? What's going on? Where'd the guy go? All oh, right, he's probably out doing something. Uh. No, he's at his job, which he's at like a different location. Okay, well, there is a substory up here. So let's go ahead and do that. Running across the street, you're running across the street, and jaywalking. <laughs> jaywalking! If jaywalking's bad, oh. okay. Whoa. The hell happened to him? Uh, Ugh, this isn't feeling at all. Ooh. Oh, how about you, young lady? Want to buy some kimchi? Just whipped up a fresh new batch. Well, it isn't fresh, strictly speaking, but don't go calling an old man and rot now. I won't, but why are you selling kimchi out here? Ah. Kimchi. Well, I had to earn a living, of course. It'd be nice to be out in the city, checking, talking to the locals, make for goods advertising. I guess. So how about it? Wanna try a little sample? Oh, can I? Since I'm here, I might as well. Oh, looks good. <laughs> <laughs> Just having it in front of me makes my mouth water. All right, here goes nothing. Oh. Just the right amount of crunch, and it's got a nice kick. Uh, wait, wait a minute. This is more than a kick. Oh, Holy! Shit. Oh my! It burns! Poor Ichi. <clears throat> well, did you like it? You bastard! Did I like it? What is in that stuff? It was like I was chewing hot glass. Yeah. <sighs> okay, I think I'm cooling <laughs> down. <sighs> and now, now that the spice wore off, I can actually taste the rest of it. And it's good. No, it's damn good. It's got this sour sort of pepperiness to it. Maybe all that spice unlocked a hidden flavor. And even though the spice really kicked my ass, I kind of want more. Yo. You gotta tell me, Gramps. What's in this kimichi? <laughs> uh, it seems you learned to appreciate the finer sub subtleties of kimchi. Kudos to you. To make this concoction of mine, I use a secret pepper. Give it a subtle pick once, unlike any other, not to mention a heck of a bite. The pepper is known as the Devil's Claw, by the way. Won't find it any on market, that's for sure. Devil's Claw. Jeez, no wonder it's hot. Unfortunately, not everyone can bear the intensity. Most people take it off running before they can even discover its true potential. Bet that's why other dude was running around all crazy. Kimchi works wonders on your health, practically your skin. But I suppose it's a hard sell when people start screaming about bloody murder. <sighs> well, it does pack a punch. I thought I was gonna die for a second. <laughs> no one ever has died eating kimchi. Enjoyed by the people of all ages. That no. being said, it seems like no one around here actually wants my kimchi. It makes me very sad. Mm. Uh, little Wolfie, I'd rather you not talk about, um, you know, ask Justin about his school life, cause, uh, he's already yeah, kind of, yeah, yeah, it's a very sensitive subject, he's already talked to me about it, and, uh, I wouldn't want to talk about it if I were him, either, so, let's just put it Thanks. simply uh, as possible as it can be, it wasn't as good as you think it is. 
Not even close. Yeah. Just leave it at that. When you cross a street other than the crosswalk is for jaywalking. Yes, that is true. Yes, Which drink would you choose? Like soda, water, or juice? Depends. It depends on what soda or juice you're giving me. Yeah, I can't imagine. Crazy how one little pepper adds so much heat. Oh, yes, and there are peppers out there that add more than just spice. Some are even sweeter than cherry tomatoes. Oh, well, that's that. I find. Welcome back. I find believe that cabbage fermented with devil's claw results in such truly amazing kimchi. <laughs> well, I'm glad at least one person tried it. Doesn't do much to reassure me, but I'll take what I can get. Too bad it nearly melts your mouth before you finally start to enjoy it. <sighs> and no one can handle the heat. Then my kimchi's going nowhere. A product that won't show it is no good. Mm hmm. Anyway, I'm thinking of closing up shop for today. So how about you take the rest of this batch off my hands? Hmm? Whoa! Are uh, you sure? So good. Yeah, eat it all. Give it to your friends. Do whatever you like. Uh, uh. As for me, I'm going to shuffle on out of here. Cupid shuffle. Do, 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 do. This is a nice gesture, but... I can't imagine who would want to eat this. Hey, Jungi, you want to taste this kimchi? Kimchi? That sounds great. <laughs> Here you go. Hmm. Very tasty. Rabum tasted. What's wrong? It, it, it <laughs> and there he goes. <sighs> you kind of you should have called saw that coming, Kaska san. Yo, oh boy, uh, try being nice. And he comes back. <sighs> <sighs> then Jungi comes back. Uh, you <sighs> good? That was delicious. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> You know, Ichiban's reaction to that kimchi reminds me of when Fox ate that Pocky chip. <laughs> I guess we could go see the circus. Have fun. Hope you like circus animals, dear. Andrea, what are you doing peeking from the floorboards? Come out here, you silly. Oh, wait, what happens if they need to use the bathroom? Oh, shit. I've never been to a okay. circus before either. Uh, fun fact. So you're not the only one, Cooper. I, too, am missing that. I don't I've even... I've been once, and I don't remember it. But yeah, I, I wouldn't want to know, I wouldn't want to know what it'd be like if, you know, they went to the bathroom after eating that stuff. The shits are gonna hurt. Mm-hmm. It's gonna burn their butt off. Hey, the spice, Justin. The spice food's gonna grow hair on their ass. What's up? How much you wanna bet that old man ground up pocky chips in that fucking kimchi? <laughs> I mean, it sounds like it's a possibility if you think about how <laughs> freaking Connor said flaming pee. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like you're passing a kidney that. stone. That's a disturbing image I'd never want to imagine ever in my life again. Is that a tiger? Oh no, wait, it's that's a, a bear. bear. Lions, tigers, bears, oh my. Have fun, babe. <laughs> okay. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the I'm taking a break from speaking, so as I can do it. We're here mm -hmm. today. Unless, to unless it's one of those non talk We have to talk about Anyway. Don't forget to take some time y'all want to meet and watch this. Our animals, the stars of the show. They're all very well behaved, so don't miss this chance to make some new friends. I'm scared. 
Meet and greet with the animals, huh? You should this be. This here is Catherine Chan, the bear. Go on, step right up and shake her paw. You can even get um, that bear looks a little hungry. Shaking hands with a bear? You sure that's safe? Not to worry. Catherine Him? John nah, he's friendly. Special training, so she's actually quite mm -hmm. Not only is she an acrobatic wonder, she knows how to please her fans. She was. Uh, I'd rather not think about that. The real good girl during the movie. God damn it! I didn't want to think about that either. Now I can't stop thinking about it. Thanks. I can assure you, she is most gentle. She listens to me no matter what. You might say we're kindred spirits. Why do I feel like I want to call bullshit right now? Um. Please, I'm talking to our guest here. Um. And now where were we? The cage is open. And he just his shoulder just take the chance got to tapped. Her and see our show. Uh. So does this Catherine show? He is so fast. No, oh, she may be tame, but she never goes outside. Isn't is that the lock to the cage on? Oh no! Oh no! You oblivious motherfucker! I, I'm just waiting uh, to hear screams of terror right, right now. This lock here. Um. Oh my God. Catherine John's cage. Oh my God. <sighs> Catherine John's Dumb loose. ass. <laughs> Friendly, my ass. Be a good girl and return to your cage. She listens to me no matter what. What a load of crap. Bye bye, bear. <laughs> that yogi bear. <laughs> That's an angry, angry female yogi bear there. You, anyway, please. anyway, babe, time for you to pull aside to huh? Me? You're out of your damn mind. You've known her since she was a cub, right? You do it. <laughs> no, no, no way. I was foolish to think man could form any kind of bond with a beast like her. What? <laughs> it's wow, dude, bear. go fuck yourself. Also, hi, God Immortals. Shit. Dude's totally lost it. You'll have to hold her down. Uh, I promise to pay you back. We can't have her reach the city. Yeah, I get that, but we best not call Peter. Damn, this is gonna be interesting. Oh, we have to fight the bit. Why do you think I said you have to pull a Saitama? Watch me. Oh, we're level thirty-three and shit. All right, we got this. Go do Crescent Slash on her. Okay. Run away for good! All right, let's see what uh, Zhao's got. Um, do a whirling blade dance. Out of my way. Come up. All right, let's do that Nelson strike. Oh wait, we gotta grip it. Never mind. Okay, uh, do the helm splitter. Yeah, try to do a full Nelson on the bear. See how that goes for you. Congratulations, you guys actually smacked into a fucking wall. <laughs> it's time to like Yogi Ogi Ogi. There we go. Let's do rapid shot on her. Oh my god. Give me a minute. Yeah.
Okay, sorry about um, that. Bring it on. Uh, uh, go. Lord have mercy. Hmm. Little Wolf he asks, examine Justin Hazard and Frosty. If you could have any type of, of mount, what kind of monster animal would you have? Amazing. Catherine Chon went back to her cage all on her own. I don't know. Meet and greet my ass. Um, Thank you. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Like, in all honesty, I gotta think about that. Someone other than me? No, I don't think she was listening to you much in the first place. Either way, we can now carry on with the show. This is a small token of my appreciation. Please, take it. What could it pop? I gotta smack you! I just realized I hadn't formally introduced mm -hmm. myself. My name is Yasuo, and I'm the ringmaster here at the Grand Animal Circus. I'm Kasuga. So you're the ringmaster, huh? Yes, though. There's not much to be ringmaster over with such a small staff. We travel all I'm gonna laugh if we get that fucking bear as a pound mate. All over the country? No, you know. Indeed. Okay. Circuses typically hold their shows in big cities. But would have been funny though. Children outside oh yeah, yeah it, it would No doubt about it. We that. hold our shows as we travel from place to as place. A pound I that would have been much after um omelet the and the I monkey. Was to see the circus, I was overjoyed. I want to share that same joy with as many children as possible. Honestly, we're struggling to stay in business. But in spite of this, I, wonder I aim why. to do nothing but my absolute best. <laughs> I got you. I hope it all works out. Oh, Kasugasan. Our next show is about to start soon. Care to marvel at all that Catherine Chan can do? It's sure to be quite a show. <laughs> I marveled out for the day. Oh, that is pasted, pasted. I understand. Well, please stop by any time. There will be other animals besides Catherine Chan in our upcoming shows. No, thank yeah. you. They ain't gonna escape, are they? Don't worry. They're incredibly obedient. Uh -huh. I'll take your word for it. That All fills right. me about as much no, confidence. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. That fills me about as much confidence as the chance again, of Kaiba ever son. being less of an asshole. Hell of a day. That ringmaster said they'll be holding more shows here. I should probably check them out next time I'm around. <laughs> Lord have mercy, I don't wanna. Alright, so he's Hey look, Jungi, it's a bear. Ichi, this is literally the bear we just fought a few seconds ago. Oh, okay. <laughs> Anyway, as I was gonna say, now this is one of those things where you just leave the area for a minute, if you go far away enough, and then come back. You know, he'll have something. So, enjoy finding the next animal he will have for you. I'm scared. I thought the bear was dead. Uh, no. Far from it, actually. We do not kill animals in Yakuza. Peter will have our ass. Sure, get around, don't we? No, actually, I've been thinking of going on a diet lately, so this is perfect. You on a diet? What brought that on? Well, if I'm being honest, it's because I added another notch under my belt. I'm getting fatter by the second these days, so I figured I'd better whip myself into shape. And if it's weight loss you're after, I can be of service. Oh, you uh, got some diet regime I can follow? Indeed. The first thing to do is cut out carbs. You'll see a fairly large change just from that. You'll need to refrain from eating things like onigiri, bread, or noodles. <laughs> if that's all it's gonna take, then sign me up. <laughs> you say that, but you totally try to sneak some bread in. True. That's where I come in. Using the Komijo's surveillance system, 
We can observe Adachi-san cheating on his diet. <laughs> we get out the bow guns. Ooh, Ooh. life or death diet. Good luck, Adachi-san. <laughs> I think I'm nah, I'm both enjoying this. Around. Talk about a waste of the Komi Jewel's time. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Adachi. Yo, Hazard. Ow. Your time. Mm -hmm. It's your time to okay. shag. This sucks. How am I supposed to build my form from scratch? Hey. Hey, you all right, buddy? Didn't hurt your leg or anything, did you? Huh? Oh, no. It's nothing like that. You see, I was sprinting out a track team, and I'm trying to improve my time. Ah, huh, that's cool. Yeah, well, when I asked my coach for advice, he told me I should work on my form. I'll never get any better. But whenever I try to fix my posture and focus on breathing and all that, my time just gets worse and worse. I just need to pick a style and run with it to catch my grip. Wow. Sure. And hey, you'll get it eventually. Just keep putting in work. You say that, but it feels like all this work is getting me nowhere. It's like I haven't made any progress at all. Mm. Poor guy. As much as I want to help, I don't know the first thing about track. Not really sure what form he's talking about either. Mm. Uh, though I do remember that businessman running pretty quick. Was it because he ate all that kimchi? Yeah, that shit was real spicy. I kind of remember running my ass off too. Hey, are you alright? Why'd you get all quiet? Oh, no reason. Maybe if I give him some of this killer kimchi, he could run as fast as he wants. Probably straight to the bathroom, but but still. <sighs> but if the kimchi's too hot, he might pass out mid-run. Should we just give it to him anyway? Give it to me. Yo. Hey, I got an idea. Try this. <laughs> he still got the whole entire pot. Pull that pot out of your ass. Hi, Raven. How you doing? He pulled it out of somewhere. Hazard. Try what? Kimchi? Yeah. There's a special pepper in it called Devil's Claw. I think it might help you with your problem. I know. Okay, so now I'm confused. What's Kimchi have to do with my running form? You'll find out. Just take a bite. Oh. I still don't know what you're getting at, but if you insist... Huh? This is regular kimchi. Ooh. Kinda spicy. No, wait. It burns! <laughs> it burns! It burns! It burns! Uh, how was it? It, it was perfect! <laughs> he says that with his face looking like a volcano. This is exactly what I've been looking for. That run I had was just, that was amazing. Oh, great. You found out what you were looking for. Hi. Yep, as my mind succumbed to the searing heat and pain, I could feel my ego dissolving. For a moment, it felt like I was falling through reality. And then I became a god! If I can just keep this up, I'll shatter my record in no time. Then the national record is next! <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad I could help. Yeah, you really did. And to keep this kimchi fused god in mode alive, I'm going out and running again. I give you my thanks, Spice Bearer. Okay. Yeah, sure. Good luck! Ah! Uh, to think this crazy kimchi actually had a use. Maybe I'll share some with the others who would use a little kick in the ass. Not that I expect to find that too often. <laughs> I was just imitating, for those who may, whose ears might have been violated by that, I was just imitating Fox when he ate the Pocky Chip. I mean, it worked. Yeah, I mean, it, he ran. <laughs> yep, he ran like fuck. Oh, 
let's see. Oh, oh no. Oh no, I regret it. 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 Can I go back? Nope. I go back. Who wants to Oh shit. Who wants to be the ringmaster? Crossy, you're doing it. Hazard, you're it. Fuck, no. All right, Hazard, let's go. God damn it. Is he the Hazard or Crossy? Crossy, you do it. All right, Crossy. Fine, fine. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, one and all. It's the Great Animal Circus. We're doing a meet and greet again today. Come and say hello to our animals. They'd love to meet ya. Mm -hmm. Oh, huh? shitty lord. Grand Animal Circus is at it again, huh? Still can't believe I had to wrangle that bear. Mm. Another show with another animal. Okay, I'll bite. Should check in. I love democracy. I should probably heal Adachi before I do that. Let's and go to- save. <laughs> so, Han, <laughs> you think about getting this game someday? Yep. <laughs> Alrighty. Hey, still at it, huh? Oh, Kausuka san, let me just thank you again for last time. Everybody loved oh, Catherine Chan's show. Did they? I swear to God, I'm going to get that page again. Who's the star today? Don't tell me it's the You know what? I'm going to let Crossy oh, no. whip his ass As if that happens. As you can see, today we've got Charlotte Chan ready to go. Charlotte Chan the tiger. Wow. Oh. That's a pretty sweet looking tiger. Isn't she? Her fur is perfectly soft to the touch. <laughs> Why don't you introduce yourself? Just stretch your hand out and she'll Perfect, give you baby. a shake. It's so cute. Oh, and there's nothing to worry about. She wouldn't hurt a fly. Sure. I've handled her training personally. Ever I trust she was a that girl. about as much I as I trust. I in her. Uh, sounds like, like no, 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 just no, fine. Okay, sounds like shit to me. Hmm? Oh, hey, little guy. Are you hungry? Well, today's your lucky day. So happens I have some food on hand for just the occasion. Here you go. Eat up. Ooh. You two are practically old friends. You think so? Well, when I you've trust your animals as long as I have, this kind of thing becomes awesome. second nature. I dare say it's talking so to animals is easier than learning a second language. <laughs> I said I trust that ringmaster's word on how safe mm. it is. Want some more? Trust Justin in your now, pocket. now, you've had enough to eat already. You can have more tomorrow. Oh, it's funny to point out what happened last time. Oh! Oh, 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 oh shit! Everything from stray cats to birds. Motherfucker! I don't know what you'd call that, but it feels like I'm. Hi, Alex. How you doing? Animal aura. Favorite Smash Bros. Uh -huh. character? Uh, there, Kirby. Uh, that goes for Charlotte John too, right? Most definitely. She's wild by nature, oh, and I think she's really drawn God. to me. Oh my Even God. if it means climbing out of her cage, of I'm not course saying anything. Not. I never let her outside. She's a curious sort, but the outside world would be much too stimulating for her. So she uh, usually lives in the uh, 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 time. I said no more food for today. You'll get more tomorrow. <laughs> Oh no! Yeah. Charlie, Charlie, Not Charlie, again! I thought you said you two understood each other. She seemed pretty pissed off to me. <laughs> Great! Now you gotta fight a tiger. Charlie, What's Charlie, next? Please, Fighting a dragon? Charlotte, John, back in her cage. <laughs> Pretty much. Do you 
know how much trouble we'd be in if she reached the city. Sure, but still. Yeah, sure a bit. <laughs> SMH. Damn it. As if the bear wasn't enough. Like they say, lions, tigers, and bears, oh my. Let's hope there's not a lion next time to pass. Hi, Night Slasher, welcome. Yes, yeah, Night Slasher, you're not. You're, that, this is exactly what you're saying. You're fighting a tiger. We're fighting a tiger again. Oh, good, she's bleeding. Um, pretty sure someone already jinxed it, and that someone was little wolfy, Lucy, so... I'm sure the Ring Master won't mind the blooded tiger that you guys are killing right now. Uh-huh. Andrea, no. That's bad. Don't pet the tiger. Good night, Void. I I, it's gonna hurt the kid. No, no, you don't. Damn, she resisted that. Yeah, it's still kind of jinxed it there, Wolfie. Yeah. Andre, why do you do this? He just came, he tried to catch the tiger. Again, I still think the ring is going to be happy when the tiger's all bleeded out. <laughs> At this point, no one, I, no one should give a fuck at this point. We give a shit. Hun, no you're way. assuming we gave a shit. If anything, it's don't fall for not security. Jesus, we got a lot of money out of that. You better fix that fucking cage. Hey, I say if there's a lion next, I'm done. Oh, boy. You still got I'm gonna tell you this, the there is no lion's neck. It's much, much worse. What? All right, Charlotte John. You'll see. Back to your cage now. Oh, <sighs> shit. I'm gonna be, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go grab a drink. Amazing. Charlotte John recognizes you as the Alpha Tiger, I think. She's usually pretty shy around other people, so she doesn't attach herself to anyone else but me. This is amazing, <laughs> Kasuga Sato. That is bullshit. Well, she didn't seem all that attached to you a little bit ago. Either way, I'm glad we didn't cause a scene. This is to show my appreciation. Please. This take ain't a scene, it's a Medal game. of Honor, bitch, give me money. Look, this better be the last time. Actually, that's a good ex job experience arm. Uh, I don't think you worry. You have an enforcer. I'll be keeping a close eye on I the cage from now on. I have a shoulder to cry yeah, on, that'd be wise. but I digress. By the way, Charlotte John's show will be starting very <laughs> soon. Would you like to stay and watch? I can get you a seat. I think I'm good. Nothing's gonna compare to going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the tiger for a while. Understandably so. Well, feel free to stop by anytime. We'll have a new animal joining our menagerie in the near future. I'm scared. Yeah, Is the next one an elephant? Safe, but this nope. one won't be escaping anytime soon, will it? Oh, rest assured. What this can it one be? is the wisest of them all. So that's completely out of the question. Right. Okay, Wise well, one. Hmm. A We're rhinoceros? Of course. Nope. Thank you once again. A hippo? Nope. Shit, a zebra? Nope. You gotta be shitting me. A cheetah? First a bear, then a tiger. Nope. 
And apparently he's got a new animal joining the you show. You want to keep guessing or should I give you the answer? No, I'm don't tell me. Right. All right. I can't think about... Um... Oh, where'd the tiger go? Oh, wait, we just... Never mind. <laughs> you committed Hey, you murder. probably go over that... Go over to that construction equipment real quick. Huh? Go over to the sub store with the construction equipment. Or activate the circus thing. This? Yes. <laughs> but you should hear yourself up after this cutscene, okay? Senpai, you seen that circus yet? The one over there! Yeah, I saw it. I went in expecting nothing, but it was actually pretty entertaining. Always wanted to see a tiger ride a ball like that. Only thing I didn't really care for was the ringmaster. Tiger completely ignored him. The Yasuda Circus Troupe sounds like it's getting pretty popular. You can't really say the same for Yasuda, though. It is not relying, oh, Michael Wilson, I'm going to tell you now. I want to see it at least one more time before they close up. I'm going on break. For the thousandth time, new guy, shut off the equipment before leaving the premises. It's fine, I'll be right back. Not like we get much break time anyway. Is it a giraffe? New guy needs to learn no. some manners. Well, no surprise there. A bird? What do you say we go on break? Nope. Too? I'm starving. Same. Hmm. Yeah. Snakes? Let's go get some katsudon. Nope. Damn. Give up yet? Because so I'm willing to tell you. Soon, huh? Nah. Maybe I should stop by. Would you rather see for yourself? Oh no! Oh no! A fucking so monkey! So before you go over there, I think you should heal up and drink magic potions. Or stock them like everybody else. Shut the yeah, fuck up about stocking oh, potions, oh, you clawed. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I I know, but it, it gets annoying. I'm just saying. Re. You fucking re. You fucking re again, and I'll whoop your ass. I'm just That's saying. Right. You do it all the time. Re. Be afraid. It's not a bull. Delicious. What do you call a bull that's not yours? Bullshit. <laughs> It ain't no gorilla, but you're close. If it were a gorilla, we'd be playing Donkey Kong the music. Nice. I think I'm gonna have to go get some uh, healing items. I told you. I told you. Would you shut up? Fine, I'll don't take my leave. Thanks for no, having don't. me on the stream. No, sh stop. I'm gonna hit you. I swear to fuck. I don't think hitting her would be a nice idea. Her smack, I'll give her a love smack because I'm sick of her acting like this. Now, Carl's like, what? Be happy. Be happy. Get bitch. a banana for the monkey. No. I don't wanna. I mean, bananas and sex. I mean, I'm sure the monkey will be fine. Freaking with Black Moon called it. She said, they said gorilla. It's not a gorilla, it's close to a gorilla. Eh, kind of, but not really. It's an ape pip. It's in the monkey family. Guy, wanna guess what type of monkey? Uh, lady. The drinks were nice. A what? What? What you call it? What? I was saying. I was saying. You wanna guess what type of monkey it is? Is it a chimp? Yep, a chimpanzee. Chimpanz. To Japan. Oh, great. I don't want to fight those people. Oh, great. And they're coming this way. Oh, great. And these people are coming this way. Ah! No! Might as well just fight them for the experience. Oh! Uh! 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 That's a lot of people! You wanna run? Take 
There you go. Thank you. I really didn't want to fight those guys. No thanks. It ain't no baboon counter, it's a chimpanzee. It's one of the smartest ones. You better give me good H and better give me good money, that's all I say. And Andreas. I love how they're still dancing when we say it's a chimpanzee. This is always chimpanzee. Crossy. I'm out, guys. Let's go. Anyway, crossy. Hmm? Yeah. Chimpanzee. Hmm? Let's go, Junji. Okay. Because okay. I chimpanzee. <laughs> oh, hi, yeah. Let's welcome back. I see you're unmuted. Mm hmm. Oh, and the next animal we're gonna have to deal with is a chimpanzee. Okay then. And you're about to see how it's much worse than a tiger and a bear. It has rabies on there. Oh, wait, there was a restaurant there. I could have. Uh... Can't wait for Zami's reaction to the chips introduction and how things can go wrong so bad. Oh no, I'm not ready, bro. <laughs> I don't wanna. Can we go back? Nope. Not <laughs> this far. But you do get a reward if you beat this. Oh, Wagon Cafe! You're a wagon. You're a wagon. You're a Give me some water. Mega and some mega. oolong tea. Thank you. Ew, pig tea. Yo, I think we're good to go. Excuse me. Excuse me, pardon me. She says that she knocks people over. I have four guys chasing me. No, I have three guys chasing me. Let's go, guys. Oh, wish I should save right here. Yeah. There we go. All right, let's go. Excuse me. Uh Well look at him, he's just a tiny little chimp. What harm can he do? Hey Jungi, he's cute. Nice. <laughs> we should probably talk to the ringmaster. See if we can pet him. Oh and look it has a bow <laughs> on it! This might be good. I think it's I think it's the show with the girl. <laughs> Okay, Crossy. Time for your time. For time, time for you to shine. Alright. <laughs> Pardon Ladies me! Shoves people out of the way. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome one and all. It's the Grand Animal Circus! We won't be at this location much longer, so we hope you'll enjoy the show till the end. Ooh. 
Oh, Catholic effect, you came. Yeah. Yeah, business is really booming, huh? Arigato yeah, thank you. I've never seen so many guests before. Hmm? Really? We're a relatively small circus trope, so it stands to reason that our shows are on the smallest side as well. All of these guests here today because they heard about your breathtaking battle with our Catherine Yo. Chan. Man, that wasn't a show. That wasn't me risking my life to get the damn thing back in its cage. <laughs> I know, I know, but you can't say this crowd here wasn't worth it. Shh. Worth it for you, maybe. What was that? Nothing. Also, is this your circus supposed to be moving on? You guys got another town to visit, yeah? Hi. Yes, that's the plan. It's too bad, seeing as we're so popular here, but there are so many people waiting for us nationwide. Circus life's circus a lot life. hard worker than- <laughs> Sorry, circus life's a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> and that's why we want to give give out our very best wherever we go. I hope you'll enjoy your time here today, Kasuga-san. Today's show will feature a chimpanzee, Clara-chan. Hmm? Chimpanzee? What a relief. After the bear and the tiger, I half expected the next animal to be even bigger. Maybe even an elephant. Hmm. Oh, God. Just, 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 Kasuga's son. You should know to never underestimate a chimpanzee. Clara Chen is very smart, and this upcoming show, she is sure, sure to prove both her intelligence and wit. Her memory is quite exceptional as well. She can memorize almost anything with just one look. This is especially Ooh. true for simple, repeated hand patterns. Oh no. Wow. I... Huh. Talented chimp. But if she really is that smart, couldn't she steal the key and try making a run for it? I don't want any more trouble. You needn't worry. I've learned my lesson and I've changed the locks to those who require a combination. Oh no. Thanks to them, I won't need to worry about any lost or stolen keys. Well, I guess that's a step in the right direction. <laughs> now then, come say hello to Clara Chan. She's a cute one, I tell you. She's quite popular amongst children, too. <laughs> Mama, look! Ma it's a monkey! <laughs> it sure is. Oh, she's waving at us. Isn't that cute? <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no. <laughs> she memorized the code. So the question, well, it, if anything, it can't be too bad. It's just a chimpanzee. What could she do? Oh! <laughs> See, she's quite the entertainer, is she not? That's so cool! She's really good at climbing! I want to climb like she does. Oh, my God. Oh, oh yes, she's good at climbing trees, too. Mm -hmm. Wait, climbing trees? Oh no! You are legitimately <laughs> the worst ringmaster ever. Clara Chan escaped. Yo. That's three for three. Why do I feel like I'm on some kind of prank show? Damn it! You said this one would be fine. Perhaps she memorized the lock combination. You don't say. Perhaps you underestimated your chimp. Either way, we have to go after her. She went that way. And yeah, the tiger oh, did yeah. escape. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I am swearing off circuses forever. Fuck. Anyway, time for, time for you to see how it's much worse than the tiger and bear. Oh, no, don't tell me we have to chase it. Nope. You'll see. I swear she came this way. Who is she? Yeah. Damn it, you missed the line. Anyway. There she is. Clara come back. I don't need a tuck since you know. Oh no! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> oh no! Scam. Tell me. Oh god, you're having the time of your life on this one, motherfucker. What the fuck? Clara's on the digger. 
What the fuck? She turned it on? I mean, I mean it's a smart monkey. Where'd she learn to handle that thing? She must have been watching the construction workers from her cage. Oh no. Seriously? That far away though? God damn, I'm good. I have found Definitely. Got good eyes, That's a terrifying fucking chip. Um. Frankly, you deal with it. Yeah, I heard you the first two times. Oh, I get it. I don't think Fryza would handle it. She'd just kill it. <laughs> I think that's what Crossy meant. Yeah. <gasps> also, <laughs> Andre. Hang on, before you continue, Andrea just said that chat. Walking by the red door is like the bar. <laughs> Andrea, get back in your cage. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. You beat in two of these. You beat in this four, and you beat in a wrecking ball. You could beat. Care this for a one. magic trick? You know what? I'm saying I agree with you. That's all like Donkey Kong. Bam, 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 bam. Benam 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 Oh, Jesus. Uh, I don't want to fight anymore. You're in for it. Out of my way. We have to get We have to get Andrea out of that machinery. Andrea, stop that fucking thing. No, it's not a mech pilot that chip, thank god. We all be fucked if it was the case. Come on. Watch me. Get alive. Care for a magic trick? You can win. Who wants to go? Hmm? Ouch! I'm over here. Uh, I don't wanna play anymore. Don't get caught. Damn it, Ishiban. Nope. Ow! Uh, there we go. Uh, okay. This sucks. Oh boy, I locked the door again. Give me a minute. She's like, like legit dying from laughing right now. To be fair, Michael Wilson, they're fighting a giant machine. Do you expect them to do that much damage to a machine? Okay, false alarm. Sorry about that. Let me get all my stuff yeah. back up. All right. Andrea is like giant from laughter. You're in for it. Don't get cocky. Come on now. You think you can win? Who wants to win this shit? Good night, Michael.
so. So monkeys can kill, can kill better than us. I mean, if a Andre is like, he smacks the red bars and he goes to the top and he the bushes. I swear to God, I want to take that forking. Monkey Z. Alright, now, now the lemons are attacking us. I really want to hit that freaking ringmaster so badly. Get in line, I want to push you holes with him. Waste our damn time and shit. I would say I blame Crossy since you voiced him, but I'm not gonna push you in there. Oh boy, not again. On the bright side, it's almost dead, but you should probably still heal his job before he dies. Time to get a dump trunk and go build structure more than situation. Oh boy, on our boy. Oh, ow! 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 What the hell is a monkey doing? <laughs> Eh, monkey things. He's doing monkey things. Just monkeying around. Chimping around. Monkey business. This should do it since it's weak. It's open. Mm. Well, if anything, it lowered itself. There we go. Though, I don't see how it takes a wood one. Well, at least you're ranked up. Excavator so, versus dump truck. And you got three- and you got 300,000 yen from it, so that's some good news, ain't it? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's finally stopped. Um... Yasuna-san, where's Clara? Uh, I have her. Seems rather burnt out, so but bad at least bad she's safe. For the construction workers. Oh, good. Um. Still, what a freaking mess. How the hell we get out of this one? Hey, did you see that? <laughs> that was one heck of a performance. <gasps> Is this part of the circus? Gotta be. Perm boy versus the almighty digger chimp. Oh, now that's energy. Perm boy. Excuse me. On the edge of my seat. How about that fire? I love how people were not really sure what's going on here, but looks like they think this was all part of the show. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we hope you've enjoyed this act. Please enjoy the rest of the show as we present to you another act over on that. Uh, stage. That fucking monkey wow, creeping. There's a stage show too. Think it'll be as exciting as the one we just saw? Let's check it out. You know, pause for a second, because I just want to say something. Alex brought up a good point. Who the fuck left the keys in the excavator? The guy that was supposed to go on break. The guy, he said, he said, I'd be, he said, it doesn't matter anyway, I'll be right back. It, that's, that's irresponsible. <laughs> Freaking Black Moon with monkey weed. That's amore, isn't shit. Hey, battle more. Amore. Monkey weed. So far, so good. All as well that ends well, I guess. Stuff, oh man. no! Well, back to the old grind. Huh? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> guy! Thank you very much for today, Kasuda-san. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I feel so bad. One last token of my appreciation. Doll of Torment, oh boy. I really hope this is the last time. I seriously thought that chimp was gonna kill me. Indeed. I truly can't thank you enough, Kaskasan. Oh, and this isn't just for all the times you've helped me. It's also for showing me a whole new side of excitement yeah. from the audience. Mm -hmm. I've been doing this circuit. Look at the construction workers in the back, though. <laughs> for a long time now. Animals riding balls, <laughs> hoops, things that you can see at any circus, really. I wasn't able to break this circus away from what's considered old hat. Sure, there were plenty of smiles. Uh... And plans, but was there anything more? <laughs> I don't know, think <laughs> we've got a fierce battle between man and bear, then man and tiger, and finally, man and excavator driving chimp. It was these spectacles that kept the crowd on the edge of their seats, their eyes glued to the performance. Mm -mm. The thrill, the surprise, the excitement. The I can't take this seriously because of the fires in the background. Um, that <laughs> ringmaster is gonna burn. <laughs> All combined to form some truly immersive experiences. I want to continue providing audiences with more fantastic outings like those. That right. <laughs> this is the worst way to have a motivational speech when there's a heap of fire. <laughs> and with that, Agreed. One last final True, oh, Alex. No. Would you oh, no. do me the honor oh. of joining our circus? No. no! Me? Yes. You and my precious animals would make the ultimate team. I'm confident that we could even Not just no, but hell no. Circus. You well, could not pay uh, me enough to do it. I'll do my best to get us an excavator of our own. I'll take out a loan. <laughs> no. Uh, or a dump truck. Hell no. Get a tank for all I care. <laughs> Kill months like what the shit? <laughs> Did I walk? Uh, in? Out of here with that shit. Nope, nope, I'm gone. Nope, nope. Gilman, bro, what the shit did I walk into? <laughs> Join the circus? <laughs> oh, don't be like that. We could be the most famous circus in the world with a troop like ours. <laughs> you couldn't pay me enough to put up with that shit. Fuck out of here. Poor animals. Later, Wait, Ichiban. Don't go. You wanna see some funny shit? Watch this. Oh my fucking god, what? Is this where you got the monkey from? Yeah, that's where I got the monkey from. Oh my god. Son of a fucking whore. <laughs> You're enjoying this, aren't you, motherfucker? Since I've beaten the game and I get to see your guys' reactions first to you? Yes. Fuck you off. No. Yeah, oh God. no. Please tell me that's the end. No more circus, right? Okay. No more circus. Uh, to so explain, uh, it's the shortest way possible, Gilmon. You just walked into a chimp, to a chimp's madness. After you know, driving a fucking digging claw. Yeah, we basically had to fight a bear, then a tiger, and a monkey driving an excavator. Let's see. <laughs> Look at Andre, he's like, you just bought this ship! Bring later, just to come back! Went down for him as I call it close. <laughs> Andre being the fucking monkey of this situation is hilarious. Hmm. Well, I did see we uh, got some experience uh, for our bond, so might as well, you know. Go to Survivor. Mm hmm. Also, uh, give me a quick second. Uh, go to the gear section real quick. Yeah, for each bond. Just go down to the. Well, I was going to have you go down to accessories after you do all this, of course. Uh,
Do me a favor and select Jung Gihan, actually. This is the Jung. Alright, go down to accessories. Go all the way to the bottom. Okay. Oh, see that bullet of memory? Mm hmm. Boost the amount of like, job XP it can be obtained from enemies. So you want to equip that. Alright, cool. That only works. Okay, so. I think everyone has a specific gear. So those type of gears that boost a job experience, only certain people have them. So you might have some for the others, but we just have to work. So now Joongi is going to get more powerful and job level experience faster. The Retro Warriors of New Clan shows a picture of a random woman. <laughs> Good night, Battle of the Moor. Good night, Battle. Good night, Battle. Sh Throw Wolf the lemon Black into the sea. And Wolf good night, Lisi. Says I get Wolf Black Moon says, I guess he was gold digging. Oh, my God. <sighs> no! Get out! <laughs> oh, my God. Ugh. <sighs> Oh, it's time for Survivor. No! No! That's what happens when you get too close to that guy on that track. Oh, no. See if Psycho wants to have that drink. Oh my god. Hey, aren't you curious? Uh, nope. Guess not. Oh well. You want to talk to Ichiban or Jungi? <laughs> not Ichiban. Namba or uh, Jungi? As much as I hate oh, Namba. No. Yeah, I confuse Ichiban with Namba. All right, let's see. Oh, you drinking Namba? Oh, Ichiban. I'm glad you're here. We need to talk. We do? Is it something serious? Look, I need to tell you I'm sorry for lying. Do I have any husbandos from Mass Effect? Yes. Uh, I forgot his name. Um, that... Gareth? Yes, there you go. You mean about chasing the counterfeit bill? Yeah. I, I was not aware of me. this. Come on. You know we're past yeah, it was that. When Bridge was What's important is your brother got released. Before, uh, you know, I, I guess this right? is my way. That said, maybe now's a good time to tell me if there's oh, any other I? holes in your story. You really were a nurse at some point, right? Well, of course I was a nurse. How else could I have brought you back from the brink of death? Good point. Then what about the part where you sold hospital meds? Didn't you say that's how you got your nursing license revoked? Well, that's the short version, but... It's more complicated, actually. What do you mean? <sighs> You'll be the first person I've ever told this to, so... I hope you plan on sitting for a while. Ha, <laughs> man! I'm all ears! Back in elementary school, I read about Florence Nightingale. That's when I knew I was meant to be a nurse. Helping the sick... People being grateful for it. It's all I ever wanted in life. But when I finally put on my scrubs, it was different. Endless late shifts, difficult patients, never a word of thanks. Eventually, I just stopped caring. Little by little, I started cutting corners any way I could. I'd pretend not to hear the intercom, and instead, I'd go doze off somewhere. By the time I hit 40, I had no idea why I ever went into the field. But then one day, this new girl named Mizue showed up. And in her introduction, she brought up who else but Nightingale. Just like you, huh? <laughs> we had the same role model, but she still had her spirit. She would rush toward every patient in the ward. Never missed a beat. 
On top of that, she always had the sweetest smile. So, you had a thing for her. Are you kidding me? She was 23 and a looker. And I was just a middle-aged loser. Don't worry, you're looker than you look. So what? You totally look younger than you are. You, uh... I would've picked think so. you still look like a player. For <laughs> sure! If you told me you were in your 20s, or hell, your teens, I'd believe it. God damn it, Ichiban. <laughs> Sorry. Shut the fuck no, that was a good one, though. You got me. Anyway, back to Mizue chat. What happened? Oh, that's right. It's Whenever I saw her though. working, I could feel my old self coming back. That young version of me, who used to give it his all. Well, that's a good sign. If only I had half her stamina and wasn't twice her age. Anyway, <laughs> one night I was a little sleepier than usual, so I went out to the back lawn thinking maybe I could sneak in a nap. And suddenly, I heard a noise from behind. I turned around to find the storeroom we keep the medicine in wide open. And Mizue-chan was walking out alone. Was she restocking? I mean, if you were slacking off, she was probably having to bust her ass. Well, that's the thing. In our hospital, only the pharmacists have access to the storeroom. Mizue-chan and I were just nurses. We didn't even need to go in there. And then what was she doing? Well, at the time, there was a rumor floating around the hospital. Uh-oh. Medicine would keep disappearing. The list never matched the inventory. According to the rumors, someone was swiping medicine and selling it. Illegally. No way. And that was Mizue-chan? It was. As my eyes adjusted, I could clearly see her arms were full of medicine boxes. But why would she need to sell medicine? From what I heard, her parents were under a mountain of debt. So, to lighten some of their load, Mizue-chan was paying everything she could. But a single Damn. nurse's salary wouldn't get them out of the hole. No way. So she was stealing the meds to do it? Yep. And I was the sole eyewitness. Thing is, Mizue-chan never noticed me there. Now, if it was you, Ichiban, what would you have done? Well... Calling her out on it would seem to be the right thing to do. But I guess she wasn't stealing it just to be a criminal, huh? Not in the slightest. She was only doing it for her family. I mean, yeah, she was breaking the law. But she wasn't trying to hurt anyone. Plus, getting caught would cost her her job. Then the debt would only have gotten worse. With all that in mind, I'd say it's a pretty tough call to make. Huh. <laughs> Now you're on the same page I was. Anyway, in the end, all I could do was watch her walk away without saying a word. If there ever was a criminal who deserved a free pass, it was Mizue-chan. That was what I thought at the time. So I turned a blind eye. And what happened after that? It wasn't long before Mizue-chan's actions caught up with her. The hospital director decided to get the police involved and started gathering evidence. He waited that long to take action? Well, he was trying to resolve it internally. Being that the hospital's reputation was at stake, I guess he got sick of having a thief under his nose. So he escalated it to the next logical step. But if the cops caught Mizue-chan stealing, that'd be bad news. She'd have a police record and her name in all the papers. To be honest, it was only a matter of time. She had her whole life ahead of her. Now, how could that happen to someone so young? And on the other hand, you've got me. A guy who totally burned out. A guy who couldn't be further from Florence Nightingale. Better a saint like Mizue-chan stay at the hospital than a sack of shit like me, wouldn't you say? Namba? Are you telling me you... Yeah. I went up and confessed to the whole thing. Stealing, selling, and Jesus. all. Jesus. And that's how you lost your nursing license? Yep. No, oh, and I got fired too. Naturally. Man, you went all out for that girl. Did she ever contact you after that? Even a call or a letter? Not that I'm aware. In a matter of hours, I was out of a job and out on the streets. You regret any of it? Well, my brother disappeared not long after. So even if I didn't get canned, I would have quit on my own anyway. So, no, to answer your question. Though I do have to admit, 
I would like to see Mizue-chan off when she goes overseas. She's going overseas? Yeah. She always dreamed of running off to some developing country where they really need medical professionals. She took that Nightingale shit seriously. Our hospital had an international dispatch program available to staff nurses with at least three years tenure. This year would be Mizue-chan's third. And I know she would take advantage of it. Well, in that case, why not go say farewell? <laughs> if only I could. For starters, I don't even know when she leaves. Maybe if you ask one of your old nurse buddies, they'll tell you. Don't be ridiculous. I'm the little rat who stole the medicine, if you forgot that detail. They want nothing to do with me. Well, hello, boys. Don't worry, the life of the party's here. Care to bring me up to speed? Oh, Sachan. Wait, are you drunk? <laughs> I think you're drunk. Uh, now, fill me in, if you please. Oh, Nama here was going off on one of his hobo horror stories again. Hobo horror stories? Well, no house means no toilet, right? Care to guess what he had to do when he had the shits? Yeah, I'd rather not. And here I was, <laughs> thinking I'd get actual substance out of two grown men instead of literal crap. Thanks for covering for me. Whew. I got you, man. I don't mind if we let Sayako know at some point, but preferably not when she's plastered. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Mamba needs a hug. Oh boy. Hey. His bond with Namba grows stronger. Namba will now gain more experience when he's not in the active party, which he will stay in. Namba can now change to the fortune teller job. Cute. What'd you guys think of all that? I felt really bad for Namba. Uh, what about you? Bad for me, Mama. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. <clears throat> is my hair okay? Okay. Your hair is still wet. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> hmm, guess Jungi Han's on the phone. Who's he talking to? Yes, I'm doing fine. Thank you for your concern, Songli. Huh, I guess it was on the phone of Song Hui. No, what'd she say? Oh, nothing. She just asked for an update on the situation. That's all. Yeah? But it feels pretty good knowing a babe like her is looking out for you. I'm blessed to serve one such as she. The Jungi Han I served before was quite the blessing as well. It must be the real Jungi Han, the one who was killed three years ago. If I'm to talk about Jungi Han, I'll need to provide some backstory. Cool with me. I got plenty of time. Ha. <laughs> Then I hope you're prepared to sit for a while. Sure, mm -hmm. I'm all ears. My father was one of the stray Qingwon Mafia I mentioned earlier. And to speak further, he was a lowly thug left behind in a foreign land. In my youth, I was relentlessly beaten by my father, in addition to being neglected by those around me. Aww. Home, school, Jeez. no place provided me with even the slightest bit of sanctuary. Thinking back on it, I'm sure I was a rather dissolute child. Well, you're not alone in feeling like you got no place to go. Plenty of people feel that way, even civilians. Feelings of isolation are really that common, huh? <laughs> not sure if I should be comforted or not. Sorry, didn't derail the story, did I? The real Jungi Han had also been raised in a poor, neglected environment like me. But rumors of his strength, intelligence, and ambition started to swirl. And as the men from my father's generation grew older, Jungi Han started gaining more and more power. In fact, it was thanks to him that the stray Jingon found any success in Kamurocho at all. While the Tojo clan was being choked by anti-violence laws, the Jingon Mafia were steadily gaining a sense of existence. Sounds like he must have been pretty cool. 
Yes. But my father, who underestimated him as some young greenhorn, failed to prove his worth and was left trying to catch up. A staunch alcoholic, he used what drunken wit he had to try to get close to the young leader. So, eventually he worked out a plan. He would mold his own son's face, set him up as a body double, and offer him as tribute. Mm -hmm. Alex? D -d 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 <laughs> this is why I ship my femme Ichi with Junji. What? I was drugged by my father, and this was done to me while I slept. No way! He did all that just to impress the boss? When he was presented with a body double, even the real Jungi Han could only force a smile. But he saw what had gone into my face, and he respected the effort. So he said it was a fair offer, and took me under his wing. And what's your father doing now? He's long since passed away. His health was already in steady decline, and for what it's worth, I'm sure he wasn't opposed to dying at the bottom of a bottle. That's a shame. I guess you Damn. two weren't super close then. Jungi Han kept me at his side as much as possible so that I might learn his mannerisms. Strangely enough, it was the only place that finally felt like home. I was very much his servant, and he was very much my master. But in spite of that, we shared a lot of laughs in the long time we spent together. A lot of drinks as well. And though I was his double, it would be rude of me to say that we came to resemble twins. So the way you're talking right now, that's something Junki Han taught you? The real Junki Han had a way with words I never will. And when he walked into a room, you knew it. Try as I might, I would never reach his level. Hearing you say all that makes me even more curious. About what, may I ask? So what would you want to pick? I've always thought you were a pretty sharp dresser. That's kind of you to say. But you said the real Junki Han was even more refined or whatever. So does that mean he was as stylish as you? He was indeed quite stylish. His fashion sense had a great influence on mine. Oh, yeah? Looks that could kill and close the match, huh? <laughs> you take interest in the most unexpected things. <laughs> yeah, that's how I roll. Funny enough, he did tell dairy jokes before. That's well, a shock, yeah. But you know, despite me saying sorry, there's still one thing I gotta ask. And that is? Isn't it about time you told me your real name? Ah. Uh, still a no, huh? Ha. <laughs> Just a little taken aback is all. I have no problem telling you. When I was first brought into this world, I was given the name Yonsu Kim. Yonsu Kim? I have no intention of returning to that name. Not when the real Chung Han has already passed away. The real one took a bullet to the head, yeah? Correct. There was conflict with a group from Hiroshima that had made its way into Tokyo. As far as I'm concerned, the Chingon Mafia died along with him. At the time, I was given the role of staring down the other hostile groups within Kamurocho as Jungi Han. But with their real boss dead, the remaining Chingon Mafia in Kamurocho were nothing but paper tigers. Should our enemies have discovered this, we would have been ousted and probably killed. If it were me, I probably would have gotten the hell out of Kamurocho, left everything behind. Yes, that's precisely what I did. The few remaining members at my side did the same. But seeing as the Jingon Mafia was all I'd ever had, I had no place to go. No refuge where I might reconvene with my allies. I was lost and alone in the world. Like a man dying of thirst in the desert, surrounded by a hungry pack of wolves. Sounds like you had it rough. 
I found a faint glimmer of hope in the Korean community here in Japan. But even they refused to accept me, as I was nothing but a criminal to them. Thinking on it now, I should have expected as much from those living an honest life. But still, in my confusion and dismay, I challenged them, asking why they would abandon one of their own. I get that. <laughs> it was enough to make them call the police. And I'm sure that under normal circumstances, I would have been taken away. However... Huh? Come on, man. Don't just leave me hanging. The police officers were imposters. And instead of being incarcerated, I was brought to my new home, Yokohama Ijincho. So those fake officers, were they? Members of the Komiju, sent to retain me under the orders of Songhui. It turned out that the Komiju was a place that many former Jingon members had drifted to. Those that distanced themselves from Kamurocho slowly but surely found their way there. Oh yeah. Songhui did mention something about the Komi Jewel having roots in the Jingon Mafia. Hmm, indeed. Komi Jewel is essentially a safe haven for refugees. That's why they tend to keep quiet and remain exceedingly closed off. For many years, they spied on the Jingon Mafia and Kamurocho from a distance, keeping close watch on their movements. I was fortunately saved by the hand that the Komi Jewel had extended to me. Moreover, Song Hui told me what had happened to the real Chung Han. That he had been shot in the head by an assassin hired by the Hiroshima Yakuza, taken by surprise from the shadows. An assassin? So what'd you guys do? You kill him? No. By the time I'd learned of his existence, he was already dead. I wasn't even given the chance for revenge. I spent many of the following days in despair. But even though I was in such a hollow state, Sung Hui patiently waited for my recovery. She was more like family to me than my abusive father could have ever hoped to be. A sister to replace the brother I had found in Jungi Hun. Frankly, nothing would hurt me more than to betray her expectations and disappoint her. And Kasuga-san, as for you and me, hmm? <laughs> I'm wondering what sort of boss you will be. I'm looking forward to seeing what you can do. <laughs> I don't remember ever becoming your boss. Right now, I think drinking buddy is a better term, don't you? I see. <laughs> <laughs> then I will do my best to live up to that title. All damn. Well, guess that's finally it for introductions. He sure is shy, that young Su Kim. Huh. Well, you know about certain characters. Indeed. Alex doesn't get his strength feeling Zami is fangirling, is fangirling inside. I ship these two so hard, man. What do you say? <laughs> Korean Virgil. But da -da -da. Oh boy. Now that we're here. Andrea's like, I see why you like this well, franchise. Wait. Yes, I'm up. Wait, I think you could have the. <gasps> yep. Click health too. This uh, this one is where you do interactions and Zhao can do. But I, you should do the one with Ichiban first. Trust me. Check this out, guys. Way I like to play, play, play. Indeed, I do, Andrea. The hell is this? You ready to see some kiss? The demons are brewing up a hellish stew. Made of you, worthless humans cooked into a room. Ichiban! Shit boosters, hot takes, all you trolls. 
You little bitch. You're all in tonight's main dish. Cabbage, onions, juicy pork ribs. None of that will say she ain't the beast. Drop your powder flesh in the demon's brawl. Let them feast. Your blood is redder than kimchi. Offer it the flap around your guts. Offer it to devour it all. In the depths of your despair, the pot is dark deep in your nightmare. The demon pot, we're dining in hell. Hard and I Honestly, you wouldn't have gotten a perfect thing, because you only got one. You had one good. And hi, Kathy. Um. Enjoying the stream so far, Ben? I'm sorry, but no. <laughs> you know what's funny? You almost got a perfect. You've got talent, Kasuga san. I don't like it. Well, if you want. I don't even want to hear Psycho sing that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Not Psycho, it'll be Zhao. And that's rude. Wow, rude! Oh, rude! I'll show you how it's done. Oh, okay. Hope you're ready for this. No, I'm fucked! I barely didn't miss this song. <laughs> You say he didn't miss the I've been a fool, and you've been childish. Yes! Number son! You got her chasing sweeter dreams. Never could. Go! Hide the truth in your eyes. Go! That's how I knew that smile was a lie. You're killing it! I love you is something you never say. Hey! Couldn't get it out, always just pulled away. Hey! So then why? Please won't you tell me why? You could find the words to say goodbye. Yeah. I'm such a mess. I'm lost. I'm no I'm not supposed to do this like a short game. Yeah. Because literally you always do the karaoke in the game. Yeah, she just likes to do karaoke because the game is fast. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm losing you. Twisting my view. I've been a fool. You know, I, I just want to also bring this up earlier than the conversation. Alex brought this up in the chat. We never really get to see no, Namba's brother. Which is kind of strange to think about it. But we probably have a uh, thing for him. Something. I don't know why. You were doing really well. Just get rid of those good. Just get make those goods into grades, and then you would have got a hundred. <sighs> Which song? Oh, I practiced this. Setting off out on your own Science, Eager go. to do things your <laughs> own way Sun's shining bright Your brand new journey starts today <laughs> You've got new clothes from like head to toe Don't even look like <laughs> the same guy Feels like a date Except we're actually saying goodbye Beautiful. All the pictures that I could take woo, woo. All the gigs these videos 
but they'll be there after you go. Yeah. Go, 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 Sonic, go! The day we met, I felt the air yeah, like yeah. swirling around me in a spring go, breeze. Go. Under the warm skies where we spent our days, somehow I knew we'd go our separate hey, hey. Lighter than air, I want you float go, away, go. lifting you so gently on a spring whoa, breeze. Whoa. I'll be What is Okami? I'm scared. Is it a scary game? Oh. No. It's not. I haven't called. Thanks for listening. I mean, as long as it's not a scary game, then I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be fine. Hey, God. I'll show you how it's done. Let's go. <laughs> this one's my jam. Let's see if I can do better. Hello, Daniel. How you doing? Hey, thanks for backing me up. All right, that was better than last time. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Wait, well, you're not gonna sing each bomb's future dream though? Welcome. I already perfected it. Thanks. All right, there we go. <sighs> Let's see. And let me turn my volume down. There we go. All right. <laughs> Let's take these guys to a good. Um. Oh wait, I have to pay for four. Never mind. You have to what? Nothing. Where are you gonna take them? I wanted to take them to the. Uh, if it, it, you don't have a no. English. English. Take them to where? What, a cabaret club or something? 
<laughs> he was going to take into a cab right I mean, it would, it would create the bond. Oh, wait, you're, you're planning to take Ju Yi out on a date to move there again, aren't you? Why do you sound so sauce when you say it like that? Also, you it's didn't like... use the healing thing in the survive bar because Jungi's MP is in. Zami Okami is a game based around Japanese myths and legends, and you play as a wolf who's the mother goddess of the gods called Amaterasu. I didn't know! Sounds nice. Look, bro, I'll Come look on. into it, and before you donate, I'll tell you if I'm, like, interested or not, because I don't want you to waste your money. Oh, no spoilers. Yo, that movie was great. Never thought the notebook would be the key to... Hey, 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 watch it. Eh? Mom's gonna watch that later. Don't spoil it for me. Not one for spoilers, huh, Dachi-san? Of course not. I want the coolest experience possible. And don't get me started on those ads that say, you won't believe the big twist or whatever. I can't stand that kind of crap. Why is that? Well, think about it. The twist will be boring if you know it's coming. If I know about it, all I do is brace for it, and then I won't be watching it the way it was intended. Wow, you really are a purist, Adachi-san. Yeah, well, I say you just go on opening day. Okay, cool. <laughs> Crafty. <laughs> Crafty. Crafty, little shit. Answer your husband. All right, Jungi, if you can just follow me. Okay. Morera Samurai Shijun Hachi. Kono mura ni inochi o tsukumareta. Shokuryou ya kane o nerao to suru sanzoku kara ichi danketsu shite mura o mamoro de wa nai ka. Oh, Ichiro. Omae wa toku ni tayori ni shiteiru zo. Jiro, omae no tsuno o ikashite kure. Hmm. An action movie about samurai protecting a village, huh? All right. Well, this is a theater super comfy right now, so we'll see. Uh... I'm sleepy all of a sudden. Oh, this thing's kind of welcome Zhao, not welcome Junji. <laughs> Rough. What the fuck are these sheeps? Uh, those are the sheeps that are trying to make uh, Ichiban sleep. So you know how. I fall asleep for once. So everyone knows about you know counting sheep while you sleep. This is the contrary. We're killing sheep so we don't sleep. Yeah, and it's taken it very literally. Meow. <laughs> Hi, hi. Hey, hey. hey, what, huh? I said hi, hi. Hi, hi. It's all black and white, so I can tell any of these guys apart. What the hell is going on? Shit, movies make me so sleepy. Movies so I 
I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna refresh myself. Okay. 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 That was awesome. All right, evil sheep, go away. Evil sheep, go away. Oh my God. What happens if he sleeps, though? Uh, I don't want to know. Okay. Well, the ending was pretty good, but everything else was confusing. What's with all the different characters? That was awesome. Gun A. Oh yeah. All right, where's Justin? He he. He's still he's refreshing. Oh shit! Well, we're gonna wait a little because he voices Jungi. <laughs> okay. So while well, that's going on, guys, does anyone in chat, you know, count sheep when they're trying to sleep? I just count yes, macaroni and cheeses. Of course you do. Um I'm not okay. wrong, am I? I mean flick 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 flick. If you want me to sit here and lie to you, I'm sorry. I'm not going to do that. No, I was curling with my doggo. Okay. You are what? Oh, hello, Jungi. Just in time. We just finished. Sorry, I was. I refreshed my Discord because it's lagging. This game feels like a Damn whole movie. Damn you, Discord! Yeah, it does. This game does feel like a whole ass movie. Mm-hmm. You know, they should seriously consider making a Yakuza anime. I'd watch that in a heartbeat. Me too. All right, Jungi. That was incredible. How Bye. interesting. Despite their uncouth behavior, I found those samurai to be quite admirable. Leave it to me. Good stuff. Glad you enjoyed it. I must say, the scene where one samurai collapsed from his wounds brought an unexpected tear to my eye. The results of where these stories of all Japan. Ah, oh, shit. Um, which one's the correct one? <laughs> uh, let me look it up. <laughs> um, which one's the right one? Hang on, let me look it up. I think she's about to freak Just out. Just be patient. Just be patient, okay? Hello, Golden. How you doing? I totally didn't take Ijivan on a day with Junji. And before Golden starts raging. Can I look up the answer? Give me a minute. I know what the answer is, so I'm not gonna, you know, press anything. I am looking it up as we speak. E. Please be patient. <laughs> Junki's just waiting patiently for me to talk. <laughs> and friggin' Fem yeah. Ijiman's just there sweating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Golden is not amused. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Golden. I totally didn't take Eve Jivan out on a date with Junji. <laughs> okay, so they might have kissed in the middle of it, but. Oh Lord! <laughs> are you are you trying to trigger her? Because it's working apparently. I'm really having trouble finding the fucking thing. Okay, I'll look it up. Meow. 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 <laughs> yeah, it doesn't say. I'm getting yeah. her answer is 22. I don't know. So you have to take a shot, and if it doesn't work, you can probably refresh or whatever. I'm gonna cry. Don't tell me, bro. Bye, Yoda Beat by Yoda Beat BS5. My god says that you are it. Shit! No, that's the time I'm turning his wound. Were you paying attention? Damn. Wrong scene. That was pleasant. Thank you for letting me know. And thank you for paying my ticket as well. Yeah. Hey, we don't won't. mention it. My way of saying things. Uh, let's go again sometime, Maitri. Ah, I must share this masterpiece with someone else. Perhaps Song Hua, my baby. Uh, 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 okay. I really enjoyed that. I feel like I understand Jung Han, Han a little better now. You want to try re reloading your drug pressure now? No. Nah. <laughs> uh oh. Oh boy. Oh my god. <laughs> Zammy, no, like what did you do? <laughs> Just look how about you look at a screen share for one? <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm trying to understand what the fuck she did. <laughs> it says five hundred it says five hundred thirty eight rules of romance. <laughs> oh lordy. Step into this for <laughs> I, I God damn it, Zammy. <laughs> I'm, I'm kinda hoping to her was for a bit. Yeah, Golden says she just wanna talk, but I feel like she's about to get stabby in a hot minute. <laughs> Yo, Justin, what do you think? Stabby in a hot minute? What the fuck? A girl who's in love with love, huh? That's different. Still, this theater sure is making me sleepy. Shit, movies make me so sleepy.
Sleep more. Shit, okay, I think I might lose this one. Whew, made it through. Of course, that's a roll. I'm sleepy all of a sudden. I think I might lose this one. <laughs> uh, what? That was awesome. Damn, that's a lot. <laughs> Made it to the end. Rose just to end on that? Oh well, who can you love if not yourself? That was awesome! I don't know, Andrea. <laughs> oh my god, I can't wait to hear Junji's response to this. Let's see what Junji says. He probably wasn't entertained. <laughs> Are you not entertained? Interesting. I see. That was certainly intriguing. I don't watch movies very often, so it was quite a new experience, if nothing else. Totally. Glad you enjoyed it. But you know, there's a bunch more to see. Let's check out another one some other time. I appreciated that. Appreciate you converting the cost of my ticket. I'm glad we had a good time. We should do this again. Like right now. You gonna retry really that samurai movie, or are you gonna watch a different one? Okay, fine. <laughs> yeah, Golden isn't okay because I'm taking Jungi. <laughs> I bet you like DT Bun. Okay, I'm gonna skip you, it since I no, already no, know what's Golden going on. That's the thing, hon. He's not a proof. Well, I don't think you should skip it too knows. much because you'll need contact. Okay. In case you get answered that question again. <laughs> the curveball of P3. Here you go, Andre. Have, have some matches.
Why do movies gotta be so comfy? <laughs> I fall asleep for once. You gonna skip it again or? Sure, um, okay. Okay, it's Niju. Keep that in mind, Niju. Shit, movies make me so sleepy. <laughs> Then no need to be homicidal yet. Was awesome. Okay, so I did better than last time. Oh, it's just getting good. <laughs> okay, I already know what the hell. That was awesome. Yes. There we go. Okay, was Niji Nij, right? Yeah, it was Niji. Niji. At least that's what you said. Yeah, he's the one that got, you know, it he's like, Niji. Hey, bro, stay awake. Right. Naturally. No matter how many times I see it, my memory for this film only grows stronger. I discover something new each time. Thank you very much for today. Feel free to reach out to me again whenever you have the chance. Oh, okay. I'm glad he had a good time. I'm pretty hurt. It's pretty cool how much he likes this one. Oh, damn it. I did it for nothing. You missed the chance to blow. Don't make Fem Ichiban feel bad. Fem Ichiban should try to reload his save. <laughs> okay. Right. Be sure you pay attention to the movie. Beginning, middle, and end. Isezaki Jinjo. Kyoba, it's a one time thing with the questions, I guess. Documentary on the history of Ijincho. Okay, guess we'll see if I can stay awake. Shit, movies make me so sleepy. This one's the hardest level. Oh no, are you serious? I am not ready. <gasps> Oh, 
My God. Why do movies gotta be so comfy? <sighs> through. <laughs> so dry, I can barely keep my eyes open. Perfect to sleep till... I'm sleepy all of a sudden. That was awesome. Okay. Perfect score. Made it to the end. No role playing in chat, thank you. It's finally over. Damn, that was like homework. Can't believe I paid money for that. You'll take that was awesome. role playing chat. All right, Jungi, did you like it? No, it's a sad about Golden with Ichiban. Interesting. I was saying no to self about Golden with Ichiban. What's up, Crossy? It'll be funny. Ah, nothing. Just checking on y'all. Okay, I see. That was certainly mm -hmm. intriguing. I don't watch movies very often, so it was nice. What a new experience. Totally. Think. I'm glad you enjoyed it. But you know, there's a bunch more to see. Let's check out another one sometime soon. I appreciated that. I appreciate covering the cost of my ticket. Glad we had a good time. We should do this again. Like, not right now. I think you got one more movie left. Mm hmm. Let's <laughs> see. All right. I think we're close by, so. Oh! This place looks like something out of one of those kung fu movies I watched as a kid. Yeah, for sure. Oh, I love kung fu movies. They come up with the craziest martial arts moves. I've always liked snake style. Oh, that stance is so cool. No, no, no. Gotta be Shaolin kung fu for me. You know any martial arts, Zhao? I know a little drunk and fist. Yo, that's where you fight drunk, right? You gotta show us. Sure. But I'm gonna need you to buy me some beer first. And some snacks, too. A little cheese and edamame sound great right now. Hey, you just tried to get free food and drinks. You have to ask? Wow. <laughs> At least he's honest. I mean... 
He just, at least he was up front about it. All right. Ready. <laughs> That's really <laughs> nice. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'll be back when I can. Have a great time. See you, Rob. Okay, thank god I got turmeric tablets. Only for two. Shit. Uh, there we go. I'm not picking favorites. Totally not. Mm -hmm. And our bond is full, so might as well go to survive bar. Why is the food so expensive? Because a hostess club. Hi, Ferno, you didn't miss much. We just took uh, Junji, Junji on dates at the Seagull Cinema. That's about it. Uh, we've been doing our sub stories to grind. And welcoming Zhao with a good uh, hostess party. There we go. Yeah, you can plant stuff. Oh. Do I not have enough bond with Jungi yet? Oh, I still got a little more. Alright, well I can talk to Zhao. Mm-hmm. Yo, how goes it, Kasugakun? <laughs> Look at you. You're blending in already, Zhao. You know it. Turns out drinks taste a lot better without bodyguards watching your every move. Yeah? So that was the life of the former leader of the Yokohama Lumong. That shit was dumped on me from the day I was born. Kind of a drag. Growing up knowing you had a fucking script. Well, the nice thing about alcohol is it tastes better if you complain while you're drinking it. Ah, oh, sure. Enjoy my childhood trauma. <laughs> but I guess after all the shit you've been through, you've earned it. Your dad led the Yokohama Lumong before you, right? What's he doing now? He died a few years after retiring. Right in his bed. He's lucky he never got shot or stabbed. Hey, yeah. That's a real achievement for a gang boss. Yeah, I guess so. He only managed it by sleeping with one eye open his whole life. No matter how you slice it, it's not a great way to live. I sure as hell didn't want to lead the Liu Meng. The Mamuchi. This shit was always up his alley. You mean 
Alma? He has such a constant face. What even face. happened to that guy? I haven't even seen him since we kicked his ass during the whole Omi Alliance thing. Don't you know what the Yokohama Liumang does to traitors? They use this filling that goes inside meat buns. What? You serious? Damn. Right now, Lao Ma is... Bao Ma? <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking hilarious. But I was kidding. You think I'm the kind of guy who'd do that? Uh, I've got your back either way. Look, if you killed him, I'll be cool about it. Or at least I'll do my best. Just be straight with me. Is he inside a meat bun? Oh, you're softer than any bun out there. Look at you all worried. I just don't like the I thought of that happening to people. Even creeps like Mabuchi, who murdered your boss without a second thought. Even creeps like him. All I wanted was to knock that guy's lights out and hand him to the cops. Ah, but by the time his lights were nice and knocked out, the Omni showed up, and you never saw him again, did you? You really did kill him, didn't you? All right, I'm bored of messing with you. I didn't kill him. Oh, <laughs> what a feeling you didn't. Why is that? Hard to explain, but uh, I don't get that vibe from you. Not one bit. In fact, it always kind of felt to me like your hard ass act was just a show for your boys. A front you put on. Ah, that's a little harsh there, eh, Kasuga kun? You don't strike me as the type to lock guys up or torture them either. Especially one of your own. Like Mabuchi. Hmm. He and I call the same place home. Nothing could make me take his life. But now, Song Hui's in charge of the Yokohama Liumang. It's up to her to settle things if Mabuchi shows his face again. He's the reason Komi Jewel's a pile of ashes, so. I don't think she'll be treating him as nice as I would. <laughs> Probably not. Which is why I gave Mabuchi the heads up and told him to leave Ijincho. Really? Well, that's taking things into your own hands. A few of his boys went with him, and I forgave the ones that wanted to stick around. It's a hard reset. Clean slate for everyone. Song Hui was good with that. You two are more generous than I thought. Mabuchi brought in a lot of cash for us, and he was damn consistent about it. The fact that he kept a bunch of shit hidden from us was an issue, but I could deal. So you knew about it, and you just let it slide? The guys from my dad's generation were pissed, for sure. Kept saying Mabuchi was breaking sacred laws of the gang. But what did they expect from a sadist in Japan's most famous gray zone? And that he'd have a moral compass or some shit? <laughs> Seriously. How about we toast to Mabuchi, wherever he might be? Well, he's no friend of mine, but what the hell? If you can cheer to him, I can too. Okay. Now we're talking. When it comes to Mabuchi, Frosty can hold him down while I beat the shit out of him. Kasuga feels his bond with Zhao go stronger. Zhao will now gain more experience when he is not in the active party. Kill. Alrighty. Okay, where is it at? No, no, no. Ah, there it is.
Oh, I forgot. Did my avatar change? Yeah, it did. It did. It's like some uh, gray, white-haired person. I should probably go to the welcome pharmacy. Excuse me. <laughs> 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 Cool, bro. All right, now that we got the tablets, you guys can stop being drunk. There we go. What's that? Tojo Clan Crest. Thank you. All right, now we go. Whee! Okay. Back to here. Oh shit! Sorry. Oh fuck. Um. This way, guys. I'm going to so I can get some rest. All right. Good night. And good night, Natalia. There, Natalia. I'm taking my boys out to the cabaret club. Alright, good night, Sid. <laughs> what are you drinking? <laughs> that was so Thank you, you lady. I'll be back soon. Later. There we go. Cool. Let's go. Now we can go to survive. Throw a welcome party with Zhao and take him to friggin' Catbury clubs and host his shit. What are you doing at a corner, Jungi? Come over here, let me talk to you. Yo! Perfect timing, Kasuga-san. There's something I must tell you. Huh? 
I believe mm -hmm. I mentioned that a group was looking for me in and around Ijincho, and that the Komijo were looking into their motives and identities. Yeah, I remember you saying that. You learn anything new? Yes. It seems they've disappeared from Ijincho. They've avoided the Komijo's nets at every turn. Well, drinks on me then. It's not over yet. You sure look calm. Hmm. Okay. Wait, no, hold up. We can't just let him off that easy, right? Don't you want to know who they are? <laughs> it's a wonder you're still alive, considering how reckless you are, Kasuga san. <laughs> Not that I'm against it. Huh? I said nothing about taking it easy. It's possible that the group in question has left the city. And I imagine it's because they found their target. Her target? What I mean is, I believe my enemies have already ascertained my location and are waiting for the opportune moment to strike. Huh. If that's the case, then they're quite skilled. They've managed to elude the Komijul's eyes this whole time. But that's bad news, right? Yes. And for you and everyone else around me, we could fall right into their hands at any moment. Okay, but that's only if we sit around and wait, right? What? <laughs> no point in being such a stranger. We'll lend you a hand. Let's find these creeps together. Hit them before they hit us. You feel me? The Komijul have been looking into their whereabouts. Even so, they've proven quite difficult to find. Finding them on our own won't be easy. So you really think they're Jingong Mafia remnants? You were saying something about that last time, right? That they might be after you because you're using your old boss's name? Yes. I have no reason to deny that, given the circumstances. Then why not drop the Junki Han thing and go back to being Yongsu Kim? I'm guessing there's some reason you can't do that. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. No, there's nothing preventing me from doing so. I simply wish to continue being Jungi Han. Even if it means being hunted down? I don't wish to get you or the others involved in the Jingon Mafia's troubles. But it appears to be too late. So, I may be troubling you already. Everyone should be on their guard. My pursuers could attack at any time. <laughs> you forget who you're talking to or something? I'm sorry? We've tangled with both the Ejing Three and the Omi Alliance guys. We couldn't let our guards down even if we wanted to. Adding the Jingon Mafia to that list ain't gonna make us any less ready. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> it seems our hey, little she's party got is much point. tougher than I expected. Then, I'm amongst reliable friends. Maybe I am allowed to trouble you after all. <laughs> so what now? Do we toast to our new friendship yet? No, I won't be getting that close. It would be out of character for Jungi Han. <laughs> Keep putting yourself on a pestle like that and we'll start leaving you out. <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, uh, Kazuko feels his bond with Jungi Han grows stronger. He will now gain more experience when he is not in the active party. Jungi Han can now change the musician and chef job, which I will not do. <laughs> Jungi Han is going to stay the way he is. He is a perfect hitman. No worries. You're not coming. Alright, now I suppose that we've got um, some bond with the guys. We can continue story.
No, thank you. I listen to relaxing music to help me sleep as well, Cooper. Oh, looks like we're gonna have to fight this group either way. Totally not talking about Ichiban. Well, look what the cat dragged in. Hamago-san? What's all this? Didn't I tell you? I'm decluttering. <laughs> I lugged all this out here by myself. Oh, I'm beat. I was hoping you big, strong men might do the rest. You buying new futons or something? Business must be good. Wait, there's no one here. Where are the girls? They all quit. What? The I'm fuck? closing up shop. Huh? <laughs> uh. What? Wait a okay, minute. There's a star behind us. Eugene Show Revitalization Shelter. It's a facility in Hamakita Park. Bleach Japan set it up. Girls from the industry and their families can live there free of charge. For free? Damn. Great. The BJ and all gang. Your girls went there? Sure did. Why wouldn't they? The facility's offering job training and legal help with visas. No better place for girls like them who don't have citizenship. And Bleach Japan is behind this whole operation? Yeah, they're being useful for once. They're gonna open more just like it, too. And they even offered to buy my place and turn it into a shelter. But then what are you going to do? This place is your bread and butter, isn't it? Oh, they thought of that. They gave me a job at the shelter. I'm gonna be the dorm mother. Oh, it's good pay. And perfect for a feisty old gal like me. Gotta say, I'm coming around on these do-gooders. Come on, Hamako. has gotta be a catch. Don't you remember what they put you through? Mm-hmm. Sure, they were annoying. Bunch of kids tramping around, shouting shit they heard in prep school. But hey, now they're putting their money where their mouth is. It wasn't just a bunch of whining. They actually did something about it. And apparently the shelters were Rio Aoki's idea. I have to say, right. pretty damn genius of him. Not to be a downer, but don't you think he's basically just buying votes? Once the election is over, I bet you he's gonna forget all about these shelters. Yeah, seriously. Politicians pull this shit all the time. You don't know him. You can't just assume he's like that. Besides, oh, you got some better options for my she girls? Knew. Any spare rooms you'll let them live in? I'll have you know, Aoki-san came all the way out to a jean show today. Wait, he's in town? He's attending Ogasawara-san's funeral. See? That shows he's a good guy. The guy who's got a million things on his plate. Oh, but no. still carves out time for a friend. You've got no business bad-mouthing him when you don't even know him. Mm. The young master. Here, in the Jean Show. Gonna go see him? Yeah. There's stuff I want to ask him about. Me too. Like what his connection to Horonouchi is. 
You guys are nuts. Oh, well, what's your plan? Stroll up and demand a meeting with the most powerful man in Tokyo? Oh, funerals are easy to sneak into. Everyone's too polite to ask questions. Why are you supporting this lunacy? Fuck you, that's why not, but... Sorry, Hamago-san. But do you mind if I get rid of your trash some other day? What's wrong with now? <laughs> There's just this thing I gotta take care of. Fine. Just don't leave me hanging, okay? <laughs> Wouldn't dream of it. So does anyone know where this funeral is? If it's any Jincho, it's gotta be at the morgue on Central. That's where Nonomiya's funeral was. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's roll on over there. Oh, boy. Kun. I remember the day we met like it was yesterday. Nice. There's still time. Hey, let us through. We're here to pay our respects. Hey, are you with Bleach Japan? No, but we knew Ogasawara. Not good enough. The ceremony's just for family and Bleach Japan members. Well, maybe they'll let us light some incense. <laughs> They aren't even allowing journalists like me in. This monitor is all we get. Today, we celebrate Ogasawara Kun's memory. We do so here in Ijincho, the city of his heart and soul. Mm -hmm. But didn't he kill him? Mm -hmm. That's why I'm. This whole thing you, is very sus. More than anyone, yearn to see this city reborn. It was only six months ago that you came here with your family. And I remember I how it. eager you were to change this town for the better. It became your passion in life. But one cannot truly care about a city until they become one of its people. Which is why I was so moved when you chose to reside in Ijincho. This is fucked, there is man. no greater tragedy than the dreams we leave behind in death. That's an and yours were bigger than most ever dared. I know this. As your classmate in our youth, as your peer who shared your ambitions, but most of all, <laughs> simply as a friend, you left too soon. This is truly, truly a great loss. And so, what choice do we have but to face the future without you? We look to Kumekun, the protege to whom you entrusted so much. He has stepped forward to carry on your dream. And is there any greater honor than when, in our passing, someone else picks up the torch where we left it? You and I always believed we could help people find their way together. Which is why, in the coming election, I will throw the entirety of my support behind Kume. I say this not as the citizens liberal party chair hmm. for you ogasawara -kun, as your friend who would see your dream come true i swear to do everything in my power to bring your dream free jincho to fruition that is the least i can do for you my old friend rest now and smile down on us from heaven Those are fake tears, man. You killed him. I am at a loss for words. Son, we will continue your work for you. Just 
Just listen to this governor. He really cares. He's in more grief than anyone here. And he still gave a speech. Strong man given a strong eulogy. If Aoki really did order Ogasawara's death, well, then he's quite the actor. Master's yep. grooming Kume for political office. What the hell is his plan? Hey, there he is. Let's move. How many seats is the Citizens Liberal Party targeting this cycle? Any comment? Aoki-san, should we take your statement today as a campaign launch announcement? Any comment at all? Just a soundbite, Aoki-san! Put it away! What's your motive for holding a new election? Hey, don't push! I said don't push! All right, folks, let him through! Let him through! Aoki! Hey! Governor Aoki! Ah, that's no good. Can't even get close. Let's head him off. How? Yell, young it's master. Not like the governor took a train here. He's gotta have a car nearby. Sure, but how are you gonna find it? Check every parking spot in the neighborhood? You know, I once read in some tabloid that celebrities park underground to avoid the paparazzi. Aoki probably uses the same strategy, don't you think? Yeah, that's a thought. Any underground lots around here? Yeah, there's a big one. Its entrance is by the river. Great, let's check it out. <sighs> Lord have mercy. This has just gotten good. This actor goes to that donkey hole. Indeed. Watch me. I got this. You want to go? You think you can win? Who wants to go? Don't move. All right, here it. Oh, damn it! Hmm? Huh? What's going on? The governor must have rented out the entire parking garage. Damn. Damn it! What do we do now? We'll never get to him like this. Are there any other elevators that connect to this garage? I think so, but if this is anything to go on, they're probably blocked off. We need some kind of hidden elevator or something. All right. Good night, Alex. Hmm? A hidden elevator, huh? That's it. There is one, actually. For real? For real? A few years back, I got really drunk. And when I came to, I was in an elevator. And when the doors opened, I was in an underground parking structure. But they overlooked that one. <laughs> nice! So where is it? Well... It was, um... Uh... Shoot. I can't remember. Yo! Dude. It's the most important part. Like I said, I was drunk. But now that I think about it, that must mean I was in a building with a bar. Yep. And if the garage is underground by the river, then it has to be somewhere along the river, too. A building with a bar by the river. Then there was a down and off, I think. Yeah. Okay, let's get looking. Good night, Alex. Hmm. 
Okay, I didn't know this. I should have paid attention to it before. Hmm? Apparently, Ni hey, yeah. Nishiki's voice actor's voice is Ichiban. Hey. Hey, Ichiban, check it out. Hmm? An elevator. <laughs> hey, that's the one. Looks like it's still running. Let's get in there. Okay. Yeah, come on. Oh boy, 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 oh boy. Copy that. We'll be ready to move out right away. Start the car. The governor's en route. Bingo. You were right on the money, Sachan. Do this. Stop! Identify yourselves! What are you doing here? Chill out, fellas. I just want to talk to the governor. Not a chance! Get back! Code Red, we got trespassers! Mr. Governor, this way! Trespassers? Don't make assumptions, pal. And who are you? Are you media? We're fans of the governor. We just want to shake his hand, okay? Not right now. Please? Come on. You can't. You'll just take a second. The governor ain't got time. Take a walk, Jack. Damn. Take a walk, Jack? <laughs> you from Kansai? You got a problem with that? Well, it means you're Omi. Denying it. Wow. A governor employing Yakuza as his bodyguards. Unreal. Shut up. I'm a civilian working security. Speaking contact <laughs> don't automatically make someone owe me. You damn smart ass. Oh, but you didn't deny it. Assume something? You assumed we were trespassers. Because that's what you are. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's just calm down now. Why don't you do yourself a favor and step aside? That we'll have to face. Whoa, easy. That's quite the weapon you got there. I was only gonna ask for a light, man. <laughs> Why's a local security guard packing something like that anyway? <sighs> Asshole, I'm about to shoot you just because you're annoyed. <laughs> With the safety on? Huh? <laughs> Dumbass. Gotcha. Fuck I'm back. Me. Welcome back, man. Hey. Well, shit just got real. Let's give him a blood <sighs> What's wrong, hon? Huh? Man, I just said I get interrupted so many times. Watch me. <laughs> Come here. Mm. Here's a husband kiss the same hobby. <laughs> Better. <laughs> Are you crying? No, it's just The knockout.
Wow, he attacked from behind and he still missed. Horribly at that. These guys are bad for the job. I guess you could say he missed his opportunity. <laughs> yep. That he did. Psycho <laughs> has leveled up. You fucking. Wait! <laughs> Oh boy, please. Oh my it's god! Whoa, 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 if it ain't asshole. What have you done? Uh, Mr. Governor, can't you tell the difference between thugs and law abiding citizens? What's wrong with you? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. We are terribly sorry about this. Do you need medical attention? I never thought I'd see the day when my own guards hurt a citizen. Just glad I saw the scuffle in the rear view mirror. Please, let me help you up, sir. Young master. Tonight, go to Orohime Land alone. I'll do the same. It's such a relief that none of you were hurt. Please accept my well sincere done. apologies for all of this. I'd also like to apologize on behalf of my guards. I'll be giving them a strict lecture later. But for now, I must ask that you excuse me. I'm late for an appointment. Oh my god. Orohime land, huh? Listen. What did Elki say? Yeah. He wants me to meet at Orohime land tonight. He invited you? Yeah, but on one condition that we meet alone. He's going alone, so I'll do the same. You really think you can trust him? Hmm. It reeks of a trap to me. <laughs> If we doubt every step we take, we'll never get anywhere. This is a chance I've been waiting for. So you're doing it, huh? Yeah, totally. Hey, then at least hide nearby so we can hide if you need us. No. I appreciate it, but it's gonna be fine. What makes you so sure? It's still possible that he'll keep his word and show alone. <coughs> Hold on. I don't uh, believe that for a second. You've seen how calculated his every move has been, haven't you? Yeah, but if he does, and I don't, then I'm the scum of Earth. I'm not gonna be that guy. Or, well, girl. Ichiban. <sighs> when he gives you the eyes, that means his mind's made up. Yo. Then you better be ready for anything. Luckily, we've got time before nightfall. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. You know, there's something that's been bugging me regarding Ichi and, Ma and um, Arakawa, and I can't put my finger on it. Did 
Excuse me. Oh, luckily enough, Rose Blossom Cabaret Club is next to it. But first, we should eat something. Who's hungry? Me. <laughs> They're all mm. <laughs> nothing like crispy Alone. fried chicken. They got on the Netflix man. and feel like bro. Why? Damn, if it ain't delicious. Kind of addicting, isn't Says it? Says Andrea. Almost like junk food. Speaking of crispy poultry, have you ever had Peking duck? It's pretty popular around here. Uh, Peking duck. No, I haven't. Every time I go to a Chinese restaurant, I never see it. I really wish I had though. Interesting. Then how about when everything calms down, I make you the best Peking duck you ever had. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> All right. right. Wouldn't expect anything less than the best from you, Zhao. If anything, we'll have it with the team. It'll be our victory feast. Mm. Ah, delicious. <laughs> All right. And before we go to Orihime land, we're gonna also save. <laughs> Alone, thinking on Netflix and chill like bros. Lies. <laughs> I think he passed out, yeah. Alright, we're gonna cross the street right here and save. Before we go in. Oh, this is gonna be an interesting affair with the governor here. I, like, you can just tell something very, very soft about all of here we are at Orohime Land. You ready for this? Hey. Yeah, time for a chat with the young master. Hey. Be safe, okay? I mean it. Listen. If anything feels off, you turn right around. You got it? Yeah, yeah, I get it. Would be nice if you close the door, Ichi. Mm. <laughs> 
Dragon Master. You were born in a dump much like this one, weren't you? Oh boy. I don't like this. I do not like this one bit. It's been a while, young master. I figured you'd want to see me. I know what you want to ask. Why did I change my name? Why am I a politician? Why did I help destroy the Tojo clan? And, aren't you curious about my lack of a wheelchair these days? You actually willing to explain any of it? I am. My condition was cured in America. I got a lung transplant. Oh. Did you know that if you drop a stack of cash into the right palm over there, you can buy an organ? Incredible. But even with deep pockets, nothing is simple for the son of a Yakuza boss. Is that why you changed your name? Yes. I did it because I was born the son of Masumi Arakawa. And because my condition robbed me of the youth everyone else got to have. I was happy to change my name and start a new life separate from all of that. <laughs> and look at the results. I'm not only the governor, but also the chair of the ruling party. <sighs> What's wrong? You can't bring yourself to congratulate me? Not from the heart, no. Are you even happy as a politician? Politics is a good life. Unlike the Yakuza, you don't have to use violence to assert control. I can improve people's mm -hmm. lives, and they're grateful to me for it. You think Ogasawara's grateful? You killed him. <laughs> well, that... that was just a sensible precaution. Man, listen to wow, yourself. Wow, dude. <laughs> Come on. After you kidnapped him, he ran his mouth about Bleach Japan, did he not? He was never much for discretion. He swore to me that he didn't tell you anything, of course. But I could see the truth in his eyes. That sealed his fate. So, you just kill people over an assumption? Without even bothering to check? I'm checking now. Did he tell you the secrets of Bleach Japan or not? Well, that's... I mean... See? Proper risk management is all about mitigating threats before they... But he was your buddy. He helped you start Bleach Japan. Being at the top means you have to know when people are no longer... relevant. Like father, like son, right? My father looked wow. at you for years. But when he had to, he cut you from the family. That's not how it went down. He asked me to go to prison to keep the whole Arakawa family safe. <laughs> you think that's why? Captain Sawashiro killed some guy who reported directly to the Tojo clan. If we had let Sawashiro get arrested, the Arakawa family would have had to own up to it, since they were lower on the ladder. <laughs> oh, Kasuga. Whether you went to prison or not, Sawashiro wasn't going to be arrested. You don't know that. What? Oh, but I do. Because Sawashiro didn't kill that guy in the first place. What? What? As I recall, that night was the last time I saw you. Oh, that time. Yeah, that club in Kamurocho we went to. On New Year's Eve. Yeah. It was your girlfriend's birthday. Right. I've certainly had better nights. Oh, yeah, you guys remember what, what he did? Young master, mm -hmm. how long have you been there? Mm -hmm. God, he looked so hot back then. Now he's a douche. Mm. Um, young master? So, Ichi looks so much more innocent back then. Did you finish your business? I'm heading back. Use this to pay the bill. If there's anything left... Might as well use it to wipe your ass. Okay, sir? 
Angela. Don't touch me. Let's go, honey. I'm sure he's just drunk. Is he sick? Don't look at me! Don't, don't look at me! He can't walk anymore. Oh, fuck, that's right, the wheelchair. Oh! This guy has me real quick. Hey, get up! You can't sleep here, you fucking drunk. Come on, move your ass! My family's property. So clear out. Go on, go. If Yakuza, that means you're garbage. The fuck you say? Don't touch me. You're a coward, you turf now, fool. In this town. Let me go! Fear the Yakuza! I don't know what backwoods village you might be from, but you're about to learn about Kamurocho <gasps> the hard Don't tell me he killed him! <laughs> you think you're hot shit because you know how to hold a gun? Where'd you buy that thing, huh? Your local toy shop? Huh? You want me to pull the trigger, you son of a bitch? Do it if it's even a real gun. Go uh -oh. on. Do it! Oh no, and it's gonna match up to. Come on! Oh, I, I see where this is going. Oh, it wasn't Sawashiro. He was covering for. Oh. Like you ought to know better. Now you're dead. <laughs> Dumbass. Do it if you're gonna. Zero. I, I fucked up. I killed a guy. <laughs> oh my god. God damn. What a turn of events. Never saw this, this coming. Everything. This actually explains everything. You were the one who killed Suzumori? Yes. I told Sawashiro what I did, then went home. Lucky for me, there were no witnesses. So I didn't go in Sawashiro's place. I went in your place. <laughs> That's right. Dad sold you to the law to protect his only son. <sighs> Obviously, he couldn't just tell you how it really happened. That's why he lied that you were taking the fall for Sawashiro. You swallowed the bait whole and happily marched yourself to the station. So tell me, Fuck do you, you still dude. trust the old asshole? <sighs> I can only imagine how you must feel. 
doing 18 years of hard time would have been bad enough. But then there was the other event. After giving him such a huge portion of your life, you finally see him and... Bang. Right? <clears throat> must feel horrible even now. I'm counting on you, Ichi. Well, say something, Ichi. Oh, fuck. It doesn't hell. matter what you say. I trust Arakawa san. <laughs> then answer one question for me Why are you in Ichincho? Couldn't tell you. Maybe because I'm Ichi Bad Kasuga. The guy who hits rock bottom, but always crawls back up. I see. Even after all these years, somehow you've managed to stay just as dumb. <laughs> it's kind of touching. Fuck you, dude. Nostalgic, even. I can't even bring myself to be mad. What an honor. You know, I thought this meeting was going to be a setup. But you came alone, like you promised. So I guess I'm touched, too. What? You thought I'd have you killed? No. There's no sense in squishing an ant. Uh, I'll let you live. We do go way back after all. But I do have one condition. Don't ever come near me or dad again. Understand? Well, I've got my own condition. Pull out of Ichincho and get Kume to end his campaign. Pardon? I may not be cut out for politics, but Kume sure as hell ain't either. Actually, the Citizens Liberal Party agrees with you. Kume is ignorant and inexperienced. If he didn't have our support, he'd lose for sure. Then why are you having him run? <laughs> so everyone can see my value. Uh, what? Think about it. If Kume wins, how will the Citizens Liberal Party react? They'd realize that an endorsement from Rio Aoki can turn entire elections, even in favor of a simpleton. It will be crystal clear that I have the skill and influence to replace Ogi Kubo. They'll watch and learn. So, Kume's just a tool to you. An election is nothing more than a game of strategy. Are these Ijinsho revitalization shelters part of your game, too? Oh, those. <laughs> those are the most useful tools of all. With them, I can round up all the illegal residents at once. Oh, no. Wait, what? Son of a I bitch, I was right when I thought, when I thought that was up. <laughs> and don't be absurd. The people going to them would never qualify for visas. <sighs> the shelters will bust them to the Immigration Bureau. Or they'll be deported. Oh no. For real? You're lying to them right to their faces? I'm not lying. The shelter's purpose is there in its name. It's revitalizing Ijincho by cleansing it of criminals. In other words, his version of ethnic cleansing. Go fuck yourself, bud. Just give me an answer. Are you going to accept my conditions or not? Absolutely not. Well, then I guess there's no chance of us finding common ground. Did you actually think I'd come here tonight because I wanted to negotiate? Remember what I said earlier. The only reason you're still alive is because I took pity on you. If I stop pitying you, you don't have much left. this they thought the young master said he would come alone that makes you a fool for believing him when he said it and for rejecting his offer oh my god
Guess I'm kind of old fashioned that way. Hero. I tend to take people at their word. Alone means alone. This way, Ichiban! <laughs> Go! <laughs> Guys, why are you here? Dumbass. Let's go. I told you it was a trap. Listen to me next time. Oh my god. Those guys are really good friends. Yeah. And Alki is a bigger uh, asshole than I gave him credit for, grounded. and that's saying something. Time to call up the reserves. Mm -hmm. Give Captain Sawashiro a show. Break through him. Right. <laughs> I love this music. I'm over here. Check this out. Let's go. So hun. Yeah. Your thoughts on all this? Uh, I got this. I'm up. Who's saying it? Who wants to go? Going in. What's up? Bless you. Bless you, people. I'm over here. Are you counting with all the fun and games yet? You're in it now. Leave this on me. Damn! 
nice. Yeah, well, Strong. honestly, all these revelations, and like I said, I'm there's something very sus regarding <laughs> fucking South Shore. I don't know what it is, but something just feels off about it. This all a little much just to take me out. Come on. Maybe it is, but then again, you did survive being shot, so taking precautions makes sense. Hmm. So this here's the guy who took a bullet from the cat. Thought you'd have some meat on you, but you're kind of scrawny, ain't ya? <laughs> and you Don't look like cocky. a fucking chimp. Make sure he dies here. <laughs> In that case, how about we draw and quarter him? <laughs> No way you okay, pass out of that stream. one. <laughs> Do what you must. <laughs> Ever seen a tuna carving? Get ready for the human version. All right, you see me in. When I'm done, I'll put his head in a box and ship it to you tomorrow. Just do it right. You leaving? Scared? No. I just don't want any of your blood on my suit. <laughs> so you're still the type to leave all the dirty work to your peons. Guess after all these years, you didn't learn shit from Arakawa-san. You never shut up about the boss. I've always hated that. Let him say what he wants, boss. <laughs> Poor little shit only has a couple of minutes to live. No, that's enough talk. Kill him already. <laughs> Let's start the dissection. Where did the guys at the back go? Well, surround on all sides. Hope a bunch of assholes who pretty much want Ichi dead and cut and pieces. Yeah, this is a fun situation. Magic trick. Cool. Don't get cocky. Come on now. I'm over here. You're in for it now. Let's go. On it. Get alive. Out of my way. Well, we found out the naughty little troop from out here. And he can go fuck himself and trample the dildo. Now. 
He's having fun beating their faces then. Wow, all those shots and he missed. Horribly. Hey, you fucking rain! Well, take this. You're in it now. You. <gasps> yeah. Who wants to go? Damn, let's go. Let's go, Tom. Let's go. Yes. Okay, you shot a doc, you know all those shots can be missed. Okay. I'm sorely tempted to play Yakuza Zero right now because of watching this. Come on. Get a life. Here we go. Just gonna stand here. 
Well, that's good. Nice. 2021 plus. Let's hope. Because this year, I've had pretty much all I can take from 2020. Eat a dick, 21. I mean, we're, we're in season two static already. You're in it now. Screw that. No, I mean, we're in. I was talking about the show. I know. I know what you said. <laughs> we'll get there, don't worry. I'm gonna talk about my crack. I don't know how much Justin tries to say now. Justin? Mm -hmm. May I talk about my question? Some push the lock. I told you. Go in Here we go. You got this, babe. Also, sorry I was out at the moment. Good. How are you What's holding up, huh? Uh, good so far. Good to be back. I'll show you a fight. I'm gonna try to stun this guy. Be still, would you? You're in for it now. I can't do Wigga Smash. Alright. Let's do Essence of Mayhem on that big guy. Dragon Secession to see if we can stun this one. Beautiful. Let's do Hem Splitter on this one. And beautiful. He's dead. I got this. Prepare to suffer. What have you bought, Venom? You'll be fine. Don't get cocky. Come on. Let's go. Beautiful, he's still stunned. Okay, he wants to kill Adachi. 
That must have been it. You're not happy. You're in it now. You miss it. Sorry, you're going back to being stunned. Or dead. Either works. Hello, Nick Ryder. You saying you were gonna put my head in a box and ship it to the captain? Yeah, you chimp. <sighs> I'm sure he'll be surprised to see your head in there then. Guy was really gross. Mm -hmm. Are all Omi Alliance dudes like that? Thank you, Melman. Sure, they're the biggest Yakuza group in the country. I'm sure they have even crazier guys. And that's what's flooding into Ijincho? Great. Ichiban! Hamako san. Is something wrong? I was just at the shelter. The shelter? I was taking something to one of the girls. She forgot it at my place. But... But they were all gone. None of the staff would tell me where they went. Mm. I don't know what's going on. Calm down, Hamako-san. I'll see you, motherfucker. help me find them. Hey, I'm really, really sorry. But they aren't in Japan anymore. What? The shelter was just a trap for mass deportations. They don't have anyone to help them in the countries they came from. That's why they came to a Jincho in the first place. I just wanna... I just wanted to give them a chance. How did this happen? Oh, no. No, 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 no. 
It's not your fault. You did what you thought was best for them. He's right. Don't blame yourself. Hmm. You were on their side until the end. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> God damn it. Like well, Nick, uh, it's way more than just memes, bro. Get into Yakuza. It's really good. Start with zero, I told though. -san to get some rest. Thanks, Sachan. You won't regret it. <laughs> Trust me. Keeps taking hit after hit. Remember what Jungi Han said? Uh, we should basically get out of here while we can. Maybe we should consider that for real. About you want to run? I mean, isn't the situation kind of hopeless at this point? Hopeless, huh? Well, you got a place we can all go? Oh, uh, not off the top of my head, no. How about you, Adachi-san? Nope. I don't even have family to stay with. My parents died a long time ago. Psycho? I mean, I could leave, but I would never abandon my sister or my father like that. Sounds like we've settled that then. Settled what? That none of us can run away from this. We're in the same boat as the Coleman Jewel and the Liu Mom. So our only option is to fight, with or without hope. And personally, I say there is hope. How? How is there a chance of winning? It doesn't matter. A long time ago, Arakawa-san told me something. If you go into a fight thinking you got a chance to win, you're just being a bully. Uh, what the hell? I'm not gonna lie, that sounds kinda stupid. <laughs> hell no. A real fight's when you go up against someone so strong, you got no chance. Our enemies are the Omi Alliance and the Citizens Liberal Party. The crime lords from below are teaming up with the law from above. And I say bring it on. We're going up against all of Japan, basically. Too much for you, Adachi-san? Going soft on me? <laughs> Don't be stupid. I couldn't ask for a better fight. Let's do it. But can we include Tokyo PD in that law part so I can kick their asses too? Hell yeah. Put them on the list. Good enough for me. You guys are ridiculous. You know that, right? Hell. <laughs> Tell me about it. But... Admit it, you like that about us. Yeah, what is my damage? Nanba, Sachan, join us and- Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can skip the pep talk. <laughs> That's why I keep you guys around. You sure, Namba? Your brother's okay now, and he's getting married. What skin do you have in the game? Yeah, no, I've been a butt. But if my friends are gonna fight, so will I. I'm all in now. Besides, It'll make for a great speech at my brother's wedding. That settles it. Let's knock them on their asses. I'm guessing this is the... <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. I know what the next chapter holds. And I'm gonna uh, cry. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna see him again. I'm gonna see compare. him again. Baby, come back. Oh my god, I'm gonna see him again. I'm gonna see him again. <laughs>
There you go. Oh, there's there's Sensei Wu without the beard. There's more? I can't eat all this. Don't sweat it, Chairman. Us young folks can handle this chow. Oh, definitely. My stomach's a bottomless pit. So bon is mine. Appetit. Hell yeah! We get so focused on our food that we forgot to actually discuss anything. <laughs> oh, it is damn good. Yeah, yeah. But we have to get down to business. Guess I'm kicking us off. This is Kunmekun, leader of Bleach Japan's Yokohama branch. He's going to run for this district's representative seat in the next election. Now, what you gotta understand about this kid is he's just step one of Ryo Aoki's scheme to turning Jincho into his personal political machine. Zhao's correct. Kume is just one step. Aoki's other steps include a huge number of Bleach Japan candidates all over the country. Yeah, I noticed that too. Uh, and the dam is broken. There's no stopping it now. Governor Aoki's too popular. There's no one who can stand up to him. So you think Kume's win is a done deal, Chairman Hoshino? Pretty much. Kume has Aoki's broad public adoration at his back. Throwing Aoki's fundraising and media savviness. Kume's got a very real shot at this. I'd say so. He wants Ijincho so bad it's gotten personal for him. Fair no, that's not who I'm talking about. <laughs> oh god. Since it was Ogikubo's kingdom before, seizing it makes Aoki the new heir apparent. That's got to be what he's thinking. Yes. I'd venture to say that even if the Citizens' Liberal Party wins every other district, he won't be satisfied unless he wins this one. He's going to throw everything he's got at this contest. Oh, I hear Definitely. snoring already. Well, I'm not gonna roll over and just take it. Anybody with me? With you on what? On taking this dude down a peg. I'm sick of getting our asses kicked. We all are, but... We can't just let him- No, you dumbass. Kiryu and Nishiki fought on Yakuza 1. Nishiki's gone, bro. When? We need to do something. Mm -hmm. I mean, Leech Japan is in bed with the only alliance. Isn't that Ooh. fucked up? It's, you know, hypocritical. They go around preaching about how gray zones need to go, acting like they're heroes or something. Meanwhile, they team up with gangsters to take over Japan, and everyone just claps for them? Thing is, Kasuga, these gangsters have a governor on their side. They're untouchable. Are you guys even hearing yourselves right now? What's gotten into you? The Ejing Three used to protect the weak and vulnerable in this town. Granted, you did it by running a huge scam, so I'm not gonna give you too much credit. But after everything the city's given you, don't you feel like you owe something to it? Look, I know none of you guys did what you did just for the money. Okikubo was the one raking in all the dirty riches. But you guys wanted to stop a war from destroying this town. And if you don't stand up now, you're basically abandoning the Ejing Three's purpose. It's a description. You sure you want to finish that thought? Yeah, dial it down, or I'll set you straight. Well, I for one agree with him. Uh, you do? Everything you said is true. We all lived in the gray zones, and sure, that ain't something to be proud of. Mm. But at least we could be proud of putting food on the tables of our men and their families. Hey, Baruto, I'm You're good. You? You're that, at least. Right, Songwe? If we roll over, we will be throwing away everything we've ever worked for. Zhao. No, it's true. And remember, I left the Liumong in your hands. I trusted you to consider what my men need. This is shaping up to be your first job as their new boss. Come on, Songwe. That's good, Baruto. Damn it. Fine. Uh, Chairman Hoshino, you got any wisdom of your own to lend us? Well, I do understand the need to be fair to the city. I'll help. And to think, <laughs> I only came here for the food. Didn't expect to get roped into some noble last stand. You know what they say. There's no such thing as a free lunch. 
True that. Now let's go take care of Kume. I have to admit, I will enjoy knocking that little punk off his pedestal. So what's a move? Good question. We need to strike, but how? Don't you think it's obvious? No. What? We need to ruin the young master's reputation. Meaning? We gotta make sure Kume loses the election. Well, how do you propose we do that? Um, that part I hadn't really figured out. But once we do, it'll be like kicking Aoki right in the face. I don't see how it's feasible. I mean, we could maim him. If he's too injured, he'd have to pull out of the race, and then... You wanna kill him? <laughs> well, only if he resists. We can't do that. Well, then. If he dies, I'll just replace him with some other tool. I'm sure they've got backup candidates waiting in the wings. That is he's right. Winning. That's how we do it. We just win it ourselves. Huh? We win the election with our own You're going this. Put someone fuck? up who can get more votes than Kume. There's got to be someone out there who can do it. Like yes, you. probably. But how do we figure out who this someone is? <laughs> We're not political consultants. Well, we should remember the votes for Kume aren't really for him in the first place. They're votes for Aoki. Good point. Can you think of anyone who fits the bill, Chairman Hoshino? You? Unfortunately, I can't say I do. Ogikubo was an incumbent here for many years, but no opponents who posed any real threat. The only people who ever ran against him just did so as a formality. Hey, you seem to know a lot about it. Why don't you run? Excuse me? Yeah, people know who you are. You've got charisma. No Yakuza's gonna win an election, even in the Jincho. If he did, I'd consider the world doomed. <laughs> Seriously. But... I could try to recruit someone who would have a chance in the race. That's a start. I hope you're not expecting me to shoulder this burden alone, though. What do you mean? Elections cost money. A lot of money. If I find a candidate, who's footing the bill for the campaign? Damn. Mm -mm. I'll tell you right now, my people don't have a single yen to spare. Right, so... How much is it exactly? Three million, right? I'm willing to chip in some myself. But I'll need an additional three million yen cash just to Damn. register. Three million? You need that much? At a minimum. If you can't scrape that amount together, this plan is dead in the water. <sighs> Fuck. I hate to say it, but he's right. Can you do it, Kasuga-kun? This is going to be difficult. Mm. How did Justin do it? We'll never tell. I need three million yen to bring the fight to the young master. Not exactly pocket change. Once I have the money, I guess I can just throw back some drinks at the bar until Chairman Hoshino finds the candidate. That'll be tricky. Wait, Clayton stole Justin the love way to do it quickly, but I forgot how. Happy grinding! Well, I already got a start, so let's go to Benten Pond. I really want some new clothes. Maybe I'll splurge and buy some. 
Aw, oh, I like what you have on now, Sajan. That stuff not enough? Oh, I really like this outfit, but nothing makes you feel more refreshed than a new look, right? Don't you ever feel that way, Nanshan? Oh, sure, I get that. Whenever I want to change things up, I pick up some new cardboard and rebuild the house. Oh, yeah, that would be pretty refreshing. I mean, technically, yes, but no, not at all. Okay. Let's go to the pawn shop first. Who's Melody? So are bronze plates, gold plates, and whatever. All right, let's get a read these two. This one, this one. We already got a million, so... Ah! Here we go. Now we got two million. Alright, bro. Have a good night. Enjoy listening to memes. Thanks for stopping by, though. Already halfway there. Let's see. <coughs> Hi. Hi, you didn't have to do it so in a grinding way, but impressive. Let's see, and then if I remember correctly, we have to go get those ten Kappa statues. So let's see. We already got two of them, so we don't got to worry about too much of it. Oh, we can't cut through? Great. Okay. Looks like we're going to have to fight these guys. Also, thank you for the bless yous. To whoever, you know... Check 
Somewhere around here. I'm you awake? I'm still here. Alright. I was just reading something that has me awake. Well, I'll talk about it later. Don't make your best shot. I mean, the amount that security is basically a foot. guys and of course we have to fight some guys Eyes on me. Just gonna stand there? Are you done with all the fun and games yet? Come on now! Yes. Hmm. Out of my way. 
entrance around here somewhere. Aha! Uh -huh. Move, Adachi. All right, that's one of the Kappas. Blossom. Okay, there we go. We gotta go to Rose Blossom next. Thankfully, I've got some money to spare. Alright. Alright, it's somewhere up here. <laughs> Last time I checked. The other one. And the next one is by Siegel Cinema. Uh huh. All right. Let's go ahead and head back to the taxi. Sorry, Junji. Actually, I'd rather call it than fight those guys. All right. I believe we have four now. All right. And then this one should be around here. I just came for a picture, bro. Oh, hell no. Are you fucking kidding me? Alright. Well, if that's the case... Might as well hit him with her all. Yeah. 
damn June. Oh no. I gotta do something about this. Dang, each is dying. Dead. Damn it. All right. Watch me. Take your best shot. Take this. Be still. I'm just dead that it's not one of those RPGs that whenever you get potion it will like continue to drain your HP. Yeah, no. Wow. 
watch me. Be still, would you come up? Damn it, I'm not gonna make it. Damn it, I'm dead. And you are doing so well. Yeah, I'm dead. 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 Yeah. All because I wanted to take a damn picture of the damn duck. Ichiban has died. All because of a fucking picture. How convenient, that the, how convenient that this is a loading screen. Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, well, then, was it worth it? Yeah, because I'm getting my money back. Hold on. Great. Fuck, now I don't have any money left over. Uh, let's see. With one HP, what the fuck? Yeah. I th Do you <sighs> see that duck up there? Yeah. This is because this is why. Because of that stupid duck. Oh, the capo. I think that's what Blayton was talking about when he talked to Jess about how to get the um, 3 million yen. Well, he's getting the majority of them. I'm pissed. Oh, because I'm a fucking Kappa. Well, you know what we should do in anger? What? Drink till our heart gives out. <laughs> We gotta go up here now. Thank God for taxis. <sighs> Unfortunately. Really? Nope, I'm running. Watch me. And you, I got this. How dare you? Are you fucking kidding me?
I got mugged. Okay. Yep, it's over there. I just hope to god there's no 50 level bastards. It should be around here. Oh, is that windmill powering this place? Correct. We also have solar panels to generate power from sunlight. Oh, word? Wait, if, if you're generating power yourselves, why bother stealing it? In addition to living amenities, we also have the monitor room. It requires more power than you'd think. More than we can generate. That said, we've always dreamed of living completely self-sufficiently. It'd be nice to stop relying on anything from the outside. Wow. Guess even the Colmy Jewel's giving it all they got. So, exactly how much power do you guys generate on your own? At the moment, we can run one washing machine. Wait, you, you have this many windmills and that's all you guys can do? It's unstable. Cloudy skies, days with no wind, then we're at a complete loss of power. You guys could at least try to get the dryer working too. That's been underwhelming. Oh great, bad guys. Fucking leave, please. Mm. Oh, we gotta go that way? Are you fucking kidding me? <coughs> oh, great, and then we gotta go this way, too. Eat my ass. Meow. <coughs> Welcome back. Hey, hey. This could get rough. Four hours. 
key. With finesse. Been gone almost five hours. Cause I'm trying to find the damn campus. Oh shit. Okay, I almost got ran over. Oh shit. Oh. I have no idea how long it took Justin because I think he saved him a good chunk of them off the frame. Nope, 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 nope. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. Them two streams to do the grinding work. Mm. It took him two streams to do the grinding. There you are. We haven't gone up there. Are you fucking kidding me? We have to go up here. I'm gonna have to call a taxi. Oh, let's eat before we go anywhere. Irashaimase. Who's hungry? Me. Delicious. Arigatou gozaimashita. There you are, you stupid Kappa. What is this place? This view is incredible. Oops. Uh, Kappa Kappa. Guess my little secret's out, huh? This one of your favorite spots, Xiao? Yeah. I come here by myself whenever I want to get some thinking done. Oh, yeah, I feel that. Sure is a pretty sight. The only problem is sometimes balls fly in through the holes in that net. Whoops. What? And you get a home run every once in a while. So you gotta watch out for that, too. I don't know if I could think with all that going on. 
Oh, if it works for Shell. Alright. Alright, up next is Chinatown. And it's right here. You gotta be careful. Beautiful. Okay. Or it should be around here somewhere. There you are. I think that's about it. Next up is Survive Bar. <laughs> and funny enough, this was hiding in our faces this entire time. First off, we're gonna go upstairs. Now look at this. Look at that. Oh, look at yep. Let me see if I cap that in your closet. Hey, <coughs> why don't we all play some cards sometime? Where's this coming from? The bartender said we could use one of the rooms here. I figured it'd be fun to laze around and play a game or something. Well, the second floor is a lot more, uh, homey than that fancy first floor. So, what do we play? Sevens? No way. It's gotta be president. It's more exciting with more people. Ooh, that sounds fun. I was playing that every night with the boys back at the camp, so <laughs> I'm pretty good. Yeah, I used to play it with my buddies on the force. Think I'm gonna let you guys win? I was the best player in the Komijo. <laughs> so, can we cut the eight? Well, what about the eleven back? Seven handoff? What do you mean by seven handoff? What about stairs? Man, they're getting pretty worked up about this. You know, all these local house rules are just a pain in the butt. Let's just play old maid. <laughs> All right. Right there, once again, there. Now I gotta go report that I'm done with the Kappas. Got those done already? Yep. Feels like I blinked and you fucking already got it done. Oh, we can't go that way, fuck. Good 
Alright, let's go to Tsurakame Parkway. The greatest carfish is goldfish, or is it gofish? Guys? Is it goldfish hmm. or gofish? For card games? Mm hmm. It's a gofish. Do your voice. Watch me. You think you can I got this. Get serious. Take this. Part of me is still laughing at that, about that legend bomb incident. Got half a 100k. Nice. Mm -hmm. With finesse. Beautiful. All right, now we gotta go up here to Popo's. Ow, pal. Uh, see, baby, how you doing? I'm alright. Tired? <sighs> A little. I mean, oh, look at I that! Two million dollars! <laughs> and like that, sir, we have three million dollars. Congratulations, you got your three million yen. How you feel? Good. All right. Now we have to go to survive right. far. That's been five hours. Oh shit, I didn't even notice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just saw myself. about Arakawa-san. It's about the allies he's gonna need soon. <laughs> <laughs> you bet I have time. I've been waiting for this call my whole life. Thanks. So yeah, Arakawa-san. He is actually...
Mm. You know what, babe? We can go sleep in a little while, okay? Hey, hold on, uh, Ichiban. Well, it's just that I have to, to sleep. Osaka? I have to sleep for like a few minutes and then <sighs> wake up at four thirty. Turns out our Kawasan needs some help. Ah, uh, uh, okay. Mitsu just called me. Yeah, yeah. Said our Kawasan's already on his way to Sotenbori. No, gotta wake up my. Oh, my older sister but wakes why up Osaka? for dialysis stuff. So. I don't know. Yeah. I didn't bother to ask. Oh, okay. You realize Sotenbori is where right, Naomi so Alliance is headquartered. Alright, so that's why I can try to keep you alert, okay? You'll be screwed mm -hmm. if your cover gets blown. Think about that, I just want to hear you do stuff. All I need to think about is that Arakawa-san <laughs> said he needs me. Mm. He's going to Osaka, yeah. so I'm going to Osaka. I don't care what anyone says about it. <sighs> he gets like this, Hadachi-san. Then there's no point stopping him, is there? Loyalty is admirable. Jeez. Ichiban, what about Ijinsho? The election's coming up. We helped you make all that money to fight Ryo Aoki. Now you're just gonna leave us hanging? Not at all. We got the three million yen we needed. And I'm gonna go give it to the Seiryu clan right now. We may have the money, but that hasn't solved our lack of a candidate. Certainly a necessary element of the plan. Didn't Chairman Hoshino say he'd take care of it? Don't worry. He's the kind of guy who keeps his word. If we give him the cash, he'll do the rest. If you say so. Safe travels, then. Hey, don't encourage him to do such dangerous things. <laughs> Kasuga, if you really are leaving, we're coming with you. Sounds good to me. I've never been to Osaka. Guys, I'm not going there as a tourist. I'm going straight into the lion's den. Assuming adachi san is right, and that's where the Yomi home right, base back, is. Back you guys don't need to get involved. Okay. This is personal for me. Come on, man. After all we've been through, aren't we friends? Of course. I'm saying this because we're friends. If something happens to me out there, you gotta finish what we started. Still sounds like a load of crap to me. Well, think what you want. But we got the three million yen, and I'm taking it to Hoshino. I'll see all of you around. All right, we're gonna have to go to Osaka, but I'm gonna give uh, Mr. Hoshino the money before we leave, and then I'm gonna cut stream. Uh -huh. <laughs> Oh great. Let's go back guys. Let's go back, 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 go back. All right. Here we are. Huh? What's with him? He saw me looking. I feel like I'm getting called over. This doesn't look good. I'd better stay out of it. Um. Don't I need some sleep? Yeah, I'm gonna be sleeping after I deliver the money. So, you found the money. Yes, 
Me and my friends managed it somehow. I owe it all to them. <laughs> Maybe I should have asked for more and kept the change. Not even funny, sir. We worked our asses off to hold our end of the bargain. How are things on your side? Well, in that regard, unfortunately, there's no way to let you down easy. I haven't found anyone. No one who can handle a gene show, huh? <sighs> right. With Aoki's popularity behind him, finding someone who stands a chance against Kumi is no small task. <sighs> Understandable, I guess. But I still intend to work on it. I promised, and you've held your end of the bargain. Yeah, I have to skip town for a little while to take care of some stuff. I hope you've got good news when I get back. Hmm? Really? Where are you going? Osaka. Sotenbori, specifically. That's rather sudden, isn't it? Yes. Well, that's where Arakawa-san needs me, and he's counting on me to be there. And who did you hear that from? A fellow Yakuza guy from before I went to prison. He called me. I've heard rumblings about Arakawa heading to Osaka on my end as well. The captain of the Omi Alliance is getting out of prison, so he's going to be there when he gets out. The captain, huh? So he's higher than Arakawa-san, so he's just the acting captain. Very well. Correct. Matsuru Watase. It will probably be the first time Watase and Arakawa meet. To Watase, Arakawa is just an outsider from Kanto who got shot up the strings in his absence. If he makes even the smallest mistake in that meeting, it could be his undoing. Even Arakawa might be nervous about that. You think that's what he needs help with? I don't know about that. <laughs> you can ask him yourself. But a word of caution. Yeah? I just hope you don't get another bullet to the chest the moment you make eye contact with the man. Well, uh, I've just gotta trust him. To be honest, I've never really stopped. <laughs> I'm going because he asked me to. I'm sure it'll be different this time. <laughs> I wish I had more subordinates like you. How long are you gonna play? Oh, we're gonna stop because we're gonna stop as soon as the uh, cutscenes, you know, end. We're he we're heading Does ourselves my to Osaka. Really need to attend to this Sotenbori thing personally. Yes. Remember, as acting captain, Arakawa is merely keeping the seat warm for Watase. Being there in person will be a show of respect and good faith. Fine. But why am I just now hearing about this? I said I wanted to know if he so much as breathed somewhere outside his usual places. My apologies, young master. I only just found out myself. Really now? Well, all we can do now is wait and see. Hmm? Wait and see what, exactly? Masaru Watase and Masumi Arakawa are finally meeting in person after how long? If I know my dad, they're not just gonna say hi and be on their merry ways. I highly doubt they're plotting anything. Isn't the Omi chairman still bedridden? I've heard it's terminal. Yes, that's correct. Then it's past time for a potential successor to be formally named. Actually, it may not be that urgent yet, but then again, the chairman might say Watase's release from prison is a good time to step down. And then Watase would become chairman, naturally. I'm sure his reign would be a very long one. But Omi history will take a very different course if, say, Watase disappeared. What? <laughs> I'm thinking dear old dad might try to make it happen. I don't know if that's Arakawa-san's style, exactly. You don't think so? Remember when I asked Dad to sell out the Tojo clan during the 3K plan? Well, I never told him to bring in the Omi Alliance. He did that all on his own. I think it was a good decision, actually. Don't you? Uh, well, sure. Hmm. Thanks to him, the Tojo were driven out of Kamurocho. 
The 3K plan was a wild success, and my approval rating skyrocketed. I expected the Tojo clan to fall hard, but I didn't think some third-rate Tojo vermin like Dad could ever worm his way into their top ranks. <laughs> Shrewd of him to do that during all the commotion. I thought he was a slow, antiquated Yakuza, and certainly not the type of man who could catch me off guard. Huh. I guess power really does corrupt, huh? Don't get me wrong. If Dad buries Watase and takes over the Omi Alliance, hmm. I benefit too. Having him there would be very convenient for me. There's just one thing that feels off. What's that? He hasn't told me about any plan to off Watase at their meeting. That's evidence against my theory. I'll have to see what happens. If all they do is greet each other, I was wrong. Look. <laughs> On the other hand, if he wastes Watase and still doesn't see fit to tell me, that would be a betrayal I cannot tolerate. Arakawa-san won't betray you. He better not. His little Yakuza club only has power because I extend it to them. <sighs> I've come a long way since the Kamurocho 3K plan. I'm at the top of the political pyramid now, which means I need to know what's happening in the underworld. The hierarchy should be very clear at this point. And I expect people to fall in line. That's a matter of policy, and family is no exception. Sawashiro, between me and my father, to whom would you swear complete fealty? Arakawa-san sent me to do as you command. His orders were to put you and your interests above everything else. My interests is for you to watch his every move and report them to me. Understood. I'll send Tendo to Osaka. He seems to have rapport with Arakawa-san. Oh no. Not Tendo. That big, fat, bulky boxer dude really packs a punch. Mm. Yeah, former boxer turned into Yakuza. Oh. Look at this, Sir Tenbori. Ah, Patriarch Tindo, when'd you get in? Hmm. Just this afternoon. Doesn't it look familiar? Tomorrow the captain's getting out of prison. Oh, really? Hmm. Not something civilians like you <gasps> need to worry about. The wise thing to do would be to mind your own business. Doesn't Is it? Is that a threat, sir? Don't joke like that, man. You fists ought to require a weapons permit. Say what now? Nothing. I got work to do, just like you said. See ya. Look, it's the Grand. This was Majima's place in Yakuza Zero. <laughs> Back in the roots. <laughs> oh my god. I am... Oh, God. This goes back. Feeling moist. Hey, can I get a refill over here? Oh, make it two. Hey, Ichiban. You look like a teenage girl waiting for a text from her boyfriend. <laughs> Put it down and relax. Have a drink with us. Yeah, we're in Osaka after all. Stop giving me shit. See, this is why I want to come alone. Where are you going, Kasuga-san? I bet it's not to take a leak. He hardly drank a sip. Dad. Hey, Hazard, look at where we at. Oh, shit. You kidding? Nope. We're in Sotenbori. Baji ma. Majima. All we're missing is the, you know, band up here. But we're gonna stop here for tonight.
That'd be a great time to save, huh? Yeah, you did a lot. I think you saved since chapter since the end of chapter four, what was it, eleven? No, I saved before I gave uh, Mr. Uh, Sensei Wu the money. Okay. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and end it here at in suspense at the Cabaret Grand. All right. Uh, let's see. We're gonna go ahead and say our goodbyes, starting with Crossy. Bye bye. Oh, like I meant by comments. Go like, what did uh, you think? Well, th this has been a fun journey, and I wait to see what comes next because this is leaving me in suspense. All right, Hazard. Hazard. Honestly, yes. Right oh. here. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. Honestly, that revelation with Alfie, like, I, I want to strangle him. I want to fucking strangle him. Who doesn't? <laughs> like, what a complete and utter dick. <clears throat> Honestly, I think, I think the love, the fatherly affection Arakawa, like, showed him was wasted. Yeah. But hey, we're gonna hear, to, we're here to set it straight. Soiled it! Soiled it! Soiled it! Soiled it! <laughs> Alright, so this is the end of the live stream. Thank you guys so much for watching and for sticking by to give me some, you know some company i'll see you guys next time but as for now go ahead and uh drink plenty of orange juice take your vitamin c and plenty of supplements because covid19 is a bitch and it will not stop at ruining the hell out of you so please take care of yourselves and wash your hands all right uh -huh. and with that good night folks <laughs>